Get out of here! Stay in my hair! Get out of here! <laughs> I'll blow your fucking head off! <laughs> Name that movie! <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> kiss me. <laughs> give me a kiss. Give me, give me a kiss. What? Come on, give me. Right on the lips. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. What, what are you talking about? Before I get fucked, I like to get kissed first. That was two separate movies. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God, I ain't even prepared. I ain't got my fucking phone pulled up. You don't even know we got top fans. We ain't got no damn top fans. None of them love us except for Larry. Shout out. Parked in front of my house the other day. I told him, "Hey, don't ever park nowhere ever again." <laughs> 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 That's how you choose your top fans. That's it. <laughs> oh, hey, Scott, I'm a top fan on your show. I deserve some special privileges. <laughs> Suck my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Hangover Podcast. I'm your host Trey, aka Walter White, aka Salty the Miracle Squirrel, aka Joe pisses me off. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting all the way to my left, we have Takeoff Music's very own Mr. T R T L. Here, 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 here. The God. And then sitting to his right, we have the president of the Savage section. He has no affiliation. He doesn't even have the 12th man talk anymore. He's just drunk. Tell everybody about how you steal pillows, Mr. Average Joe. I don't steal pillows. I'm doing drugs on your show right now. Hold on a second. I dare you. You keep them on camera. You know you want some. Later. I have a pregnant lady at home. I can't play around. That's why you have a bathroom, bro. (laughs) (laughs) I don't steal pillows. I think about stealing pillows. You dream about stealing pillows, allegedly. No. No, yeah. tell them what you did. Tell them what you did. Tell them what? Tell them about the note that you left. The nice little note that you left, and then somehow <laughs> prove that you're not the smartest one on the show. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I left another note, too. Like, I left, I left another note. Well, tell them about the first note. I don't remember that shit, what I wrote. Well, give them a for dummies. Um, I wrote housekeeping a note at the hotel. And it's pretty much said, um, since y'all treated me so well, I'm going to treat y'all well. And I put the uh, at for the hangover. And I told him to follow the podcast. <laughs> and then I was like, also, I went, also, I had a dream about stealing one, stealing uh, two of your pillows. Mm-hmm. But I didn't do it. I only stole one. That a boy. Look. Uh, That's progress. I didn't, <laughs> st- I, didn't, I didn't steal the pillows, though. <laughs> You didn't I, actually I, steal anything? No, I, I had expensive. it. I had it, and then like something didn't feel right, so I put it back. Yeah, because the fact that they'll charge you sixty dollars for that fucking pillow. What? Yes, one hundred percent. That's one of the things I remember uh, being in a motel somewhere in Florida. What about the towels? Everything. Them too. Everything. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I walked to that motherfucker, and I remember because they got they got everything inventoried in them rooms, and I remember going in there one time, and uh, they actually had a list printed out on the table. So it's like, if you take any of these things, this is what we will charge you per yeah. item that you take. Mm. Right. It was in a sketchy-ass part of Florida, in Pensacola. So, I mean, I could understand. But it still felt kind of weird that it was like, hold on, man. This this little spinny chair you got here ain't $185? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a, we had gotten a fucking suite in Panama a couple of years back. And they, like, had the list of the fucking shit. And I still drank everything that That's was in the bar. That's so wild. I was like, fuck it. Oh, you, you drank out the mini bar? I drank everything. You wildin'. <laughs> I drank everything. Motherfucker, they're going to charge you $60 per sip. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they, had to, they had to listen. I did the math. I was like, all right, yeah, fuck it. Shit, I actually, uh, I was looking <laughs> That's at... That's what I would spend at the bar if I left this bitch, so... Yeah, you're right. But I was thinking about, uh, I was thinking about taking a trip sometime. I want to go to Italy. Or, uh, I heard they don't like Americans out there. Some some parts. They're, they're very I'd weird about it. I'd be sketchy about it. Like... Fucking uh, Sicily and shit, like yeah. the hearts. Yeah, yeah. But they uh, they had an Airbnb that I was looking at staying in, and one of the things the guy did was he has a full apparently has a stocked bar in the Airbnb, and he said you could drink however much of it you want. He just said if you finish a bottle, replace it with something that you like to drink. I was like, that's kind of that's cool. dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. was like. So now apparently you go stay in that motherfucker. You just got like all these different people's opinions. Up I'm gonna be the asshole, like this much in the bottle. This <laughs> I ain't finish it. I ain't finish Good it. Good luck next guy. <laughs> that's why I don't like Americans. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do Thailand, man. I heard it's mad cheap. You can go out there and live like a king. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I heard Thailand's about as easy as Mexico. Like you could, you could the money you spend out in Mexico, you can spend it out in Thailand. Thailand, yeah. the same thing. Actually, I heard it's like half of that. 
Oh, word. Yeah, yeah. Like, Thailand's, like, dirt cheap. I actually saw a video. The you other can pay, like, 300 American and spend, like, a week in, like, a fucking That's chalet, Vietnam, too. You know what I'm saying? Vietnam, too. Yeah, I'm not going out there. No, that was, uh, I watched the video the <laughs> other day. Sure I still was... got some stiff feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I was going down. Well, why? They won. I mean, hey. <laughs> but we were going down. They still uh, got landmines in their fields. We don't. Also true. <laughs> but I was going down the rabbit hole of uh, YouTube the other day, and somehow the algorithm showed me a video of um, uh, the most expensive Big Mac on the planet, and it was in Venezuela, and it was $3 million Venezuelan dollars, which came out to about five American. I saw that thing. <laughs> 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 Apparently that dollar is fucking worthless out there. <laughs> like, it's all that American money they borrow. Shit, mm. that's what happened. That's what's gonna happen to us. We keep fucking around. <laughs> that debt gonna go up. And fucking American dollar gonna be worth like two pennies in Europe. Motherfucker, <laughs> I'm still collecting like <laughs> pennies. I mean nickels or some shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Canada. I forgot where. I, I forgot they where still I'm under the queen out there. <laughs> it's always the out. Canada's always the out. <laughs> Hold on, we're going to get to this. Let's, let's finish up real quick. Uh, so today I am drinking Crown Royal. I pull that crown up out of that purple bag. Crown up out of that purple bag. Good crown up out of that purple bag. Good crown up out of that purple bag. Anything, Joe? Not a rich purple, guy? Purple, 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 bag, bag. Purple, anyway, it's, it's, purple, been, it's been a while. Purple, oh, okay. Purple, bag, well, bag. with that being said, we do have some <laughs> top friends. Me, 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 me. <laughs> For eight consecutive months, Mr. Jason Dufresne. Uh, it's funny because classic. like uh, a couple days ago, Jason actually shot me a message. And uh, he was like, hey, bro, just wondering, should I buy? Uh, hold on. You know what? I'm going to just go ahead and read it because this is one of those moments where I was like, I fucking hate you, Jason. Like y'all talking about, like we just spoke a couple of minutes ago about like how we feel about like top fans. Right. This is one of the reasons I hate them. Uh, <laughs> All right. He well, like he actually sent me a couple messages not too long ago complimenting how well our interview skills have gotten. Uh, but then he texted me on, yesterday and he said, "Assassin's Creed Valhalla, worth the buy?" Question mark. And I said, "This is my verbatim what I said back to him. Worth buying two copies in case anything happens to the first. Facts. To me, that is how good that fucking game is. That's why I got it I'm on I'm looking digital. across the table. I said that. You agreed with me. Yeah. I spoke in English. Yeah. It hit your brain receptors, and you go, yeah, the game is that good. You should buy two copies in case something happens to the first one. Mm -hmm. Wink, wink. What does Jason say? Well, now I have questions. If it's good enough to buy two, but what would happen to the first? I hate you, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a hangover podcast, everybody. <laughs> you got trolled. <laughs> you got trolled. Like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Who's going to do something to my first copy <laughs> that I would have to, you know, why would I have to buy two? It's fucking Assassin's Creed banded around. <laughs> it's out here offing niggas copies. Yeah. So fuck you, Mr. Jason <laughs> Dufresne. I gave him your number. <laughs> <laughs> But then for seven months, we have Mr. Larry Frederick. Hell yeah. Jesus Christ, guys. Get it together, bro. <laughs> I got excited. Them big fucking ham fingers you got. Yeah. Yeah, that motherfucker did text me the other day, and he was like, hey, man, there's a birthday party going on a couple of houses down from you, so I parked in front of your house. Hope you don't mind. Don't have a park in front of my house. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay, bro. For five months, we have Mr. Devin Whitmore. Deep boy. Get out of here. Oh. Beep, That's beep, you? Yeah. Last week I was wondering what the fuck that was. Put your goddamn phone no, on no, silent. No, no, no. I was no, that wasn't was it? Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't remember my shit going on. I thought on it was week. turtles. Nope. Mine goes meow. <laughs> <laughs> That's sexy ass fucking text message. I was angry as fuck. <laughs> and then for five months we have Mrs. Asia Donaldson. Hey -o. the big homie. And then for two months, we have more the little homie now. Yeah, she's tiny as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Teach me your ways. I could afford to shed all of it. Anyway. <laughs> she said she gave up everything. <laughs> <laughs> and and I saw you make a big ass plate of chili cheese fries. <laughs> Bitch, you saw them shits when they didn't they look delicious. They did. Oh, my God. Uh, for two months, we have Mrs. 
Alexis Schaefer. Hell. Hey. Getting the numbers up. Getting the numbers up. And then for one week, we got Sean Milligan. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sean's actually, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but Sean's actually going to be the godfather of my child. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I challenged him to a fight to the death for it. He didn't accept it. Of course he didn't. <laughs> but, um. He just read the message. <laughs> <laughs> but he uh, he is now in charge of throwing my diaper party, which I was in charge of throwing a few months back for, for him. him. And it was funny because when the situation came up about his diaper party, I was hitting him up, you know, on the, in the days leading up. Like, all right, so what are we doing? We getting barbecue? We getting pizza? Like, what you want to Like, how you want to feed everybody that's coming? You know what you want to do? And all he did was send me a GIF, and it's called a GIF, not a GIF, you fucking idiots. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And I was like, so how you want to go about this? And he was just like, uh, he just sent me a GIF of the Godfather. And like, <laughs> it's insinuating, like, you're the Godfather, you fucking plan everything. And I was like, all right, you cocksucker, you just wait. Mine's going to be coming up, and I want you to remember <laughs> this. And now it's like, all right, bro, so, like, what do you – you need some money? Or, like, what do you want me to do? And I'm just like, Godfather gif. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking handle Like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show up on my fucking diaper party, the day of my diaper party, and it better be popping. Because <laughs> if not <laughs> – <laughs> if not, I'm going to remember all this because all I told that little son of a bitch to do was show up and then, ooh, this food was way more expensive than I thought. Half me on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, the, what the fuck you had got? You had pans of shit, bro. Bro, I got catered uh, barbecue. Like, I, I had all of that shit in there. Oh, because you ain't a real man to get thrown out on the grill like a boss. No, nah, I, I don't trust myself enough to cook for all of those people. No, I do not. Oh, I God. would not want to waste all it of your time. It was the bros, though. Like, worst case scenario, like, it's the bros, like, so telling you did, how trash your shit is. Did the food? You know what, you... Sean, Sean? Look, look, Sean, j- just pay me and I'm a barbecue. I mean, I'm like cool a real man. Since cool neither one of you niggas know how to handle a spatula and fire. Actually, there's, there's one person, though, that if, <laughs> fire. One, if we do do that, there is one person that I would want to cook the ribs. You could cook literally everything else, but there's one person. Bro, and if I I'm cooking, ribs don't nobody anything. touch no fucking ribs or no meat if I'm cooking. I don't, know, I don't know if you'll be able to cook. You hear me, because that'd, be, that'd have to be the trade-off, is that he would have to cook the ribs. You could literally Who's cook everything. Who's making it? Who? Who? Uh, Kurt. You remember Kurt? Yeah. No. Yeah. That boy's ooh, his I dust ribs, him. Though. I, I don't believe that for a second. I dust him on my. You mama, pay for your ribs on my mama, nigga. You've never I, had his ribs on my mama, nigga. I dust him. <laughs> Man, I mean, I mean turtle shit. Facts. Word. Look, yep. you hear me? All right. Nigga, we'll talk. I, on yep. my we'll mama. Talk. But anyway, so with that being said, nah, you gonna make some tacos? I make anything that'll beat him. <laughs> <laughs> on the game. Me, well, me and my shit, chef skills, God nigga. Damn. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know this is going to be a little off topic, but you know what? This is the Hangover Podcast. We're just a bunch of drunk idiots that talk a bunch of shit and act like we know something about something. So I'm going to be honest with y'all. This week, we didn't have a whole lot going on. So we were kind of scrounging for topics towards the end of this. But uh, I was going to invite Martin Lawrence, but he said he was busy. Yeah. yeah. I called Cat Williams, but, you know. T-Pain's on tour. <laughs> Couldn't get him. But we were just talking I can't about. can't believe it. We was just talking about all the 49ers hurt, so Joe ain't had nobody. Boy, fuck God <laughs> damn that. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt, bro. God damn. It fits perfectly, but god damn. <laughs> I only said it because you was wearing the shirt. Dog. <laughs> hey, tell tell him about, about, tell him about your shirt. Tell him about your shirt. Tell him about real quick. Hold up. <laughs> bro, the Niners, like, like two key players, well, they're backups, but they're like back, key backup players. Mm-hmm. Like one one tore his Achilles and one tore uh, <laughs> his uh, ACL already. So in a little boo boo. The head coach canceled off canceled the off season uh, workouts. Yep. He was like, I'm not doing yep. this shit. I'm not doing Wait, so two, I, I, two I, of them. Wait, 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 I've never wait. respected that man more. Wait, just so just so on my head, just on my head. Like so so two people hurt themselves during practice and now all practice is canceled. Yeah, because last season our whole team all our starters was like injured. Injured, oh, injured, yeah. injured. Back and back like back. now, like they're fresh, and like now this shit seems like it's happening again. He was like, "Fuck that, boom, yep. nope." Not about to hit me with the injury. Press the, bug. Press mm-hmm. the pause button. Mm-hmm. I, I've never respected that man more. Facts. Show everybody your shirt. Show everybody your shirt. He said he was gay. So what? <laughs> what? 
It looked better than your fucking. It looked better than your Broncos Saints jersey. Why are you hating on my <laughs> Super Bowl Broncos winning? <laughs> he did Saints not win jersey. the Super Bowl in that shit. <laughs> Peyton Manning did, nigga. But uh, we were talking a little bit about. <laughs> we were talking about a little bit about places that uh, we want to go. I saw some other shit the other day too. Would any of y'all ever actually go to North Korea? No, no, never. Nah. No, you're not interested. Not at all. No. I feel like if I call for him, I'm going to jail. <laughs> yeah, man. You can't smoke weed out there. I'm probably not going. You can't do nothing out there, motherfucker. Like how every like rich nigga talk about going to Dubai, I'll mm. probably never go. Well, yeah, because you can't smoke unless out there. I taste like a, a fucking sabbatical from weed because it's some life traumatizing edible. Yeah. Other than that, <laughs> which fuck that, there's always a, a chance. You heard me, Dubai. There's I said, always. fuck you. I don't care. I don't need your expensive Bugattis, <laughs> you fucking turbans and stuff. <laughs> Go to fucking Saudi Arabia. But I heard that they're they doing the same shit. I heard they're doing something cars. about you could possibly catch a <laughs> catch a flight to space. Would y'all do that? Yeah, absolutely. No, no. Why not? Because I've done acid twice, and I heard it could snap your spine if you've ever done acid and tried to go what? To space. Yeah, because acid the fuck out acid of goes into your spine and it eats away. Yeah, at but you. like, how much acid would have to do that? I, I'm not trying to find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hold man. up. <laughs> Hold up now. So wait, you would do that? Absolutely. What? Hell yeah. You would go to you would go to space? Yeah. I don't like if they on told airplanes. me like, oh, you'd have to do acid like a lot for that to happen. Then yeah, I'd go. You'd go? Yeah. Like I like I definitely like off back. I'd be like, okay, this is a one way trip. You know what I mean? Like I would not like be optimistic about coming back. Oh, like so you would accept death. Yeah. As you're leaving? Yeah, I'm not afraid of death. Yeah, so, like, if it's going, like, even if they're saying, like, you know, you're, like, 99% chance of coming back, like, there's still that thought, like, oh, this yeah, is my one trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. Like, the amount of times that I've been on a plane while it's taking off, and I'm like, this is going to be one of those ones where they take off and poof, just explode. <laughs> yeah. Like, I always imagine that that's the way that shit was going to go. But at the time, I had a job that required me to fly, and I couldn't just call and be like, hey, I see y'all got me going to Colorado this week, but I'm not going to be able to on account of being a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. So, yeah, that's the that's the trip. But it's like, that, yeah, I, I've always had, a like, an interest in North Korea. Just because of it being like the hermit kingdom that it is, and I, I feel like any time that tourists go out there, especially like Americans and stuff, they always put on like this big show to like show Americans that like we aren't as shitty as they say we are. And I would love to know that an entire country put on a show just for me. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah, right. I get it. <laughs> no, and then another thing too is apparently, like, yeah, when you go out there, there's definitely some rules you have to follow and you yeah, have to be absolutely. very careful. But, yeah, if we're, if we're discussing your boy that got put into a concentration camp and got murdered, that was his fault, if yeah, we're being honest. Yeah, yeah you went out there you, you <laughs> stole, he stole a sign, He huh? snuck out of his room. Uh -huh. Like, that's one of the things when you go out there. You can't go anywhere by yourself. Like, right. you have to have a guide with you at all times. Right. And then they said he, uh, yeah. But Especially to, if you're an American. Yeah, to make sure. Yeah, to make sure that you're not. Oh, shit. <laughs> to make sure that, number one, you're not doing anything illegal as far as the country's concerned, and also to make sure that you only see what they want you to see. So yeah. that way, you go home, you come back to New Orleans, and you're, you get on the Hangover podcast, and you go, man, I went out there, y'all motherfuckers are tripping. This place was beautiful. It was full of this, and it had all of this. I don't know what y'all talking Like, that's what they want right. you to do. But if you scurry off by yourself, and you go see all the abandoned skyscrapers and people eating rats off the streets because they can't get food, right. you might come back and have something bad to say. So, right. so the interview was pretty accurate. Yes. Yes, yeah, Sam. That's oh. that is exactly what they that, were doing. That was the whole point when they were, you know, doing that movie. It was like, yeah, this is, you know, exactly what they talk about. It's happening. <laughs> but, <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> but then, like, uh, your boy went out there, and apparently he snuck out of his room at night when his guide wasn't around, and they caught him on camera sneaking to a floor that they told him was for workers only, like only for government officials. And he went in there, and he took a fucking sign off the wall and then left with it. Yep. Or tried to leave with it. And they caught his ass at the fucking airport slipping. And it's like, you idiot. What did you expect to happen? Stupid. They still got him. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Oh. He gone. They sent oh. him home. In brain dead. <laughs> he, was, he was done. Yeah, so, I mean, that's the thing when it comes to North Korea. I don't think I'd ever actually go because I'd be terrified, but... I break uh, too many rules yeah, in America. Right. <laughs> yeah, and it's time. Like, imagine now you're driving and all, at all times you got a cop sitting next to you. Mm -mm. Right. It's just imagine. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> good. I didn't sign up to be fucking goddamn lethal weapon. <laughs> Can I drink? Get out of here. 
Uh, no, absolutely not. Oh, fuck that. Oh, yeah. No, nobody in the country is allowed to drink. They yeah. said that like the, the furthest that you'll ever see people do is brewing beer in their bathtubs because that's the closest they can get to having alcohol. Yep. Sh- shit, no. Yeah, I, I end up in that concentration camp. <laughs> right, that's why they say most of the time when people go, they're only there for a little while. And then you yeah, get they the arrest me off for fucking just smelling like weed. They be like, oh, oh yeah, me, man. Sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go out there like, nigga, I ain't smoking 24 hours. Just, they got the aroma on you. <laughs> you go out there and they got them. They got I them. start sweating, nigga be like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's going to the camps? <laughs> who's going to the camps? But they, uh, like they got them two big ass statues out there, the two former presidents. And, like, motherfuckers will go out there and try to take pictures of it. And, like, that's fine. But they have rules about how you take pictures of the statues. So, like, if you if you can't just take a picture of part of the statue. It has to be from bottom to top. And, if and like, one person, I saw a documentary, they laid down to, like, get the whole statue in the frame. And, like, he so he laid down on the con- Dude came up and yanked him up by his fucking shirt and was like, you don't lay down in front of these statues. And he's like, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and they're like, it's disrespectful. And like all of this, and they were like, tomorrow, you leave our country. And I was like, ooh, at least you get to leave, motherfucker. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm uh, going to jail. Like, don't snatch me up like I'm a little ass boy. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mortal combat on this bitch. <laughs> Better have backup, nigga. Straight out the upper cup coming with it. <laughs> Ma. I'm listening to Joe, and all I hear is your boy from and there. Then it's going to be mad raises because I'm going to yell, Hadouken. <laughs> <laughs> but all I'm hearing. All I'm hearing is uh, your boy from the interview movie where he was just like, and what are you going to do when they all start shooting at you because you just killed their leader on live television? I will have my bulletproof vest. <laughs> there will be no bulletproof vest. <laughs> <laughs> and I will run <laughs> into underground tunnel maybe. SEAL Team 6 waiting for me on the other side. Run home. <laughs> Game over, fellas. <laughs> Oh, shit. So, all right, let's get to the little bit of news that we do have this week. We ain't got nothing. Did any- I got a question before we start. What's that, baby? What is this new month shit? New month? Yeah. Like what are you talking about? I'm pretty sure it's, like, new month. Like, I've been, I'll been, be seeing people on social media saying, like, uh, like hashtag new month or some shit like Something that. Something tells me this is an, annoy- an annoying liberal thing. But before <laughs> I confirm for sure, go. No, it's <laughs> – I've <was, laughs> seen it on, like – like Twitter and like Instagram and shit like that, and like people like hashtagging like new month. Apparently, it's something with June. Like, I don't know what it is. All I'm seeing is like new month, new me. But it's June. Yeah, right. I mean, well, it's not May anymore. Like I <laughs> thought, it, <laughs> I thought it was something to do with like the uh, LGBTQ or something. I mean, probably. I mean, it's Pride Month. It is Pride Month. It's any of y'all going in the uh, Pride parades? Nah, I set up a pride display at Guitar Center. That shit did look dope. Yeah, it did. I like the way you did that. I saw that. I saw that orange guitar. I was like, ooh. I had to tap into my inner bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Twisting my hips the whole time. Then like the way you. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, Joe took that knife ass guitar. Joe took issue with the way that you just put the white guitar on top. Yeah, nah, it was uh, what you call it uh, to play on uh, the little colored thing. I'm sorry? The little light that we got set up in front of it. Mm-hmm. It was to like, you know, so you can have all of the rainbow colors on one guitar right. type thing. Right, right, yeah. right, right. So the white man's needed. Yep. <laughs> yep. Tried to put a black guitar to turn me down. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Dude, I thought you were about to hit the applause. <laughs> what you said? So the, white, so, the, so the white man's needed. I thought you were about to hit the applause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, they're right. Uh, Everybody right now, go look up in your gifts, white power, see what happens. (laughs) Straight (laughs) up. So what happened? uh, We were talking about it. Didn't uh, D-Rose stupid ass come on the other day talking about happy Juneteenth, everybody? Yeah. What is it, Juneteenth? Juneteenth is the day that. uh, First of all, it was not the day she was saying happy Juneteenth. Yeah, yeah. Let's start there. It was June 12th when she was saying Juneteenth. Uh, Yeah, it's not even a teenth. At all. (laughs) Not even a teenth. <laughs> Take your L, sis. <laughs> Sophia just gonna hang out with us for this one. But yeah, no, nah, that's the um, the day that the slaves were actually uh, liberated from slavery. Oh, like all slaves? Yep. Oh, okay, that's dope. Yep. That's dope. That's the and day that's the that, uh, slavery was ended. Yep. Ah, okay. You know, everybody Did celebrates you- July Fourth as the Independence Day. You know what I'm saying? When, but that was the day that uh. The slaves were free. 
Did you ever see the... Because you know a lot of them niggas ain't know they were free. Mm-hmm. Like when the, the shit first happened. Like the niggas was just like, that's because, you know, that that's why they called July 4th Independence Day because a lot of them found out on that day. Oh, but, wow. Mm, yeah, I didn't know so that. Slavery was abolished on June 19th. <laughs> well, did you... Um, did y'all, speaking of that, did y'all ever see the, the letter that the former slave wrote to his master? Nah. Huh. Oh, sir. <laughs> Before we even begin. Probably started that bitch off octagon. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you didn't know All right, let's that see. shit. Nigga. So, <laughs> <laughs> so apparently. I'm going uh, my mama's fried chicken recipe back. A, <laughs> a, a slave. <laughs> a slave escaped. And uh, one uh, and then apparently went to one of the free lands mm. and started prospering very well for his mm. wife and his mm. children. As most of them did. Uh, exactly. And one of the things that I, and I just, and I know this is old to some of the people that are listening, but this, I, I, this was actually just brought to my attention a couple of weeks ago. But uh, apparently his former slave owner wrote him a letter and was just kind of like, you know, I would love to have you back. <laughs> we miss you so much. <laughs> Do I have a feels just don't do I have say a, without you? Do I have a womp 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 <laughs> button on here? <laughs> yeah. All everybody in the room while they're reading this letter. <laughs> the fucking balls. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga opened the letter and was like, babe, come see. Come see. <laughs> Look at this shit. Uh <laughs> let's see. I'm I'm trying to find like all the actual Content of yeah, the letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got the full letter. I just wanted the context of, like, all the shit from the former slaves. Oh. <laughs> you say we miss uh, you. <laughs> I don't know, like I said, I don't know if that was the exact uh, verbiage, but it was along those lines. And then this is the uh, letter that, uh, I'm not even going to say the slave. Uh, the brother. Uh, this is how it's written, before y'all come from my head. The brother Jordan Anderson. And the letter says as such. Dayton, Ohio. August 7th, 1865, to my old master, Colonel P.H. Anderson, Big Spring, Tennessee. Sir, I got your letter and was glad to find that you had not forgotten, Jordan, and that you wanted me to come back and live with you again, promising to do better for me than anybody else can. I have often felt uneasy about you. I thought the Yankees would have hung you long before this for harboring rebs they found at your house. I suppose they never heard about your going to Colonel Martin's to kill the Union soldier that was left by his company in their stable. Although you shot at me twice before I left you, I did not want to hear of your being hurt, and I'm glad you are still living. Shade. It would do me good to know back. Wait, it would do me good to go back to the dear old home again and see Miss Mary and Miss Martha and Alan Esther Green and Lee. Give my love to them all and tell them I hope we will meet in the better world, if not in this. I would have gone back to see you all when I was working in the Nashville hospital, but one of the neighbors told me that Henry intended to shoot me if he ever got a chance. (laughs) I want to know particularly what the good chance is you propose to give me. I am doing tolerably well here. I get $25 a month with victuals and clothing. Have a comfortable home for Mandy. The folks call her Mrs. Anderson, and the children, Millie Jane and Grundy, go to school and are learning well. The teacher says Grundy has has a head for preacher. They go to Sunday school, and Mandy and me attend church regularly. We are kindly treated. Sometimes we overhear others saying them colored people were slaves down in Tennessee. The children feel hurt when they hear such remarks, but I tell them it was no disgrace in Tennessee to belong to Colonel Anderson. Many darkies would have been proud as I... Side note, I'm reading this. I am reading this. My nigga had to stop. I'm reading this. Wait, hold up. This is, <laughs> this is actual, factual, historical documents, people. I'm not. Oop. Mr. Scott ain't over here freestyling. All right? As I said, many doggies would have been proud as I used to be to call you master. Now, if you will write and say what. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Here's where it gets good. Now, now if you will write and say what wages you will give me, I will be better able to decide whether it would be to my advantage to move back again. As to my freedom, which you say I can have, there is nothing to be gained on that score as I got my free papers in 1864 from the Provost Marshal General of the Department of Nashville. Mandy says she would be afraid to go back without some proof that you were disposed to treat us justly and kindly, and we have concluded to test your sincerity by asking you to send us our wages for the time we served you. This will make us forget and forgive old scores and rely on your justice and friendship in the future. 
I served you faithfully for 32 years and Mandy 20 years. At $25 a month for me and $2 a week for Mandy, our earnings would amount to $11,680. Wow. Add this to the interest for the time our wages have been kept back and deduct what you paid for our clothing and three doctor's visits to me and pull in a tooth for Mandy and the balance will show what we are in justice entitled to. Please send the money via Adams Express and care of V-Winners, Dayton, Ohio. If you fail to pay us for faithful labors in the past, we can have little faith in your promises in the future. We trust the good maker has opened your eyes. Blah, blah, blah. Holy shit. That is one of the greatest things I've ever read in my goddamn life. What are you smiling about? <laughs> you said darkies. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie. I felt my ancestors tugging me a little bit there. Like, hey. Yeah, you was, <laughs> you was definitely taken back to you. Like, hold up. <laughs> as soon as I read that fucking line, I was like, you know what? Maybe it would have been a good idea to let them read it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's them? I know you saw that the word two before other you black said people. it. The two other black people in the room probably would have been better to read this than me. <laughs> nah, but the... Hey, yo, respect for that reply, though. Motherfuckers. Facts. Damn. Facts. And that nigga threatened to sue his ass. Look at <laughs> <laughs> you gonna pay me for that shit you put me through. <laughs> Love you. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm Mwah. trying to see. Let us see my exes. I'm trying to see when they de- when they technically consider, because I heard him say, "Okay, see, so it was 1865 was considered June t- uh, June 19th, 1865." So I wonder how he got his freedom papers in 1864. Apparently, there were more enlightened parts of the country. Oh, uh, so he because he was able to go up there, he he was able to mm. get his freedom. Yeah, you remember right. what uh, what was? Because like yeah, like I said, a lot of them didn't find out to their to niggas is fucking celebrating Fourth of July. Like, hey, right. you free too? <laughs> it was like what? <laughs> now that reminds me of. So I'm over here celebrating this punk ass holiday from a hundred years ago, <laughs> and I'm <been> free. <laughs> Somebody eat my fried chicken and corn. I'm out this bitch. Try to blame Massey. Be like, nah, y'all niggas was free. Y'all just y'all just stayed. I thought y'all wanted to hang out. Yeah. <laughs> I thought y'all heard about the 4th of July celebration. <laughs> Shit, my bad. Yeah, you good, dog. You can leave. Hey, somebody keeping your ass up. <laughs> that would have been oh, fucked man. up. You sitting there with all your homeboys. Like, man, another year with Massa and them, they say they're going to give us some of the good food on the 4th. And then the 4th come, you sitting there eating the good food. And they like, oh, yeah, by the way, you can leave. What? What? <laughs> man? <laughs> like clean the table? What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nah, nigga, you was free. What? I, I be drove. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm about to burn this whole shit down. Fuck motherfucker that. ain't even finished. Ain't motherfucker ain't even finished swallowing his mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck up out of here, man! And then as he's walking out, cussing out the mask and shit. Have you ever heard of Tony Satchery? No, you haven't. It's coming. <laughs> but please, for the love of God, man, salt and pepper is not seasoning. <laughs> Fuck, Frank. <laughs> Dropping gems on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> and God you, goddammit, your fucking hair. <laughs> I'm black and I'm doing better than you are. <laughs> Shower once a week and stunting on you. Mm, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the, the, the biggest thing that happened this week, and uh, it's unfortunate because, <sighs> anyway, uh, that's crazy. What's that? <laughs> the Civil War ended like two months before that. June 19th. Oh, well, damn. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Um, but my my question, uh, well, the biggest thing that happened this week actually was uh, Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul. Oh, yeah. I think that other one, I sent that other one too, that... Uh, the fucking stupid TikToker versus the YouTubers. That shit's supposed to be happening. I think it happened. Let me see. When the fuck was that? Fucking Paul's about to go undefeated. It. it ain't pull it back up. <laughs> oh, well. Wait, yeah. you said the Paul's about to go undefeated? Yeah. What you mean? YouTubers versus TikTokers? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, no, neither one of them niggas is fighting. Oh. Yeah. Damn, yeah, it won't pull back up. But I, th- I think it was like this weekend or some shit. It's either today or already happened type shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, first of all, did y'all watch the fight? Yeah. Yeah. I watched the whole Kinda. thing? Kinda. Yeah. It was like in and out. Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't. Yeah, because really. we didn't pay for that shit. Yeah. Yeah. 
I got halfway through the fourth and it cut. Yeah. We and probably got we probably got through maybe the first three rounds and then it started acting up too much. Yeah. We we still able to catch like a good bit though. So. I mean we did see the part where fucking uh Logan uh got caught with one and Lloyd had to catch his ass. Yeah. He keeps trying to say that that ain't happened, but uh, nigga, we synced it. Oh yeah, a lot, a lot of <laughs> I people, know what a nigga look like when he getting caught. <laughs> yeah, a, a, a lot of people trying to say like, oh, does it look like a knockout? Yes, nigga. Like yeah. he was just able to stand up quick. Yeah, That's all. they was like, you think you think Mayweather would have been able to hold him up? Like being how big he is, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you fucking right. Yeah, like he didn't like, especially know, if he don't go out all the way. If it was just a quick one, you right. know what I'm saying? Niggas drop to the mat and jump back up all the time. It happens. Yeah, it's boxing. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, from what I heard, that was actually a knockout punch from what they were telling me. Yeah, that's right. what I'm saying. Yeah, that was, oh, like, okay. that was like a clean counter. That's what we like, just said. Like, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, that was like a clean counter, and counter's the one that'll fuck you up. Yeah, facts. Because he's already exerted all of his energy throwing it into it, and mm-hmm. now you're taking your energy and throwing it back into him. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, so, I mean, uh, so who won? Floyd? Is it even a fucking question? I mean, you yeah, put his it out brother, there. his brother, fucking Jake is delusional every time. Yeah, Floyd threw fourteen punches and landed seven, seven of them. Like mm-hmm. that's fifty percent. And uh, what? Logan? Nah, that was like fourteen, like it was jabs, power punches. But like total, it was like sixty something to a uh, hundred and something. And Floyd landed like forty something of hip of his punches to fucking like thirty of fucking Logan's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He threw a hundred and some punches, landed thirty. Floyd threw like sixty of them, landed forty something. Yeah, we uh, we did. Yeah. <laughs> we did not get Pretty Boy Floyd. Yeah, the, the fans, nah, the nah. fans definitely didn't win. No, nah. no, they definitely didn't win. I, like I said, my, that fucking that fight ended in the uh, like for me, it cut off in the fourth round, and I couldn't find another illegal link. And I, I feel like that was God. <laughs> I feel like that was God telling me find something else to do. Right, you don't need to watch like, this. You don't shit. need to watch this bullshit. Yep, my PlayStation. Beep. Yep. <laughs> the best part about that fight was the chain Logan came out with. Yeah, facts. That oh, and they that, came that out with. Chain? They came out wearing a five hundred thousand dollar chain just because of the card. Yeah, you know what I'm saying the, the card alone was like three hundred sixty five thousand. Oh, Charles Man or Charles Art? Charles Yeah. Yep. And that's first edition I'll... holograph. And oh. that's why I loved watching the fucking people, motherfuckers our age. On the internet, like, man, look how stupid he looked with his fucking... Pu-. I'm like, bro, that is actually genius. Yeah. I do not go behind the, the Paul There's Brothers little kids nothing. everywhere right now going, Bob, I want to put my card on the chain. Yeah. Not for your little $30 fucking card that you found in a, in a booster <laughs> pack. Man, you got they going to want it with a $30 card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They got niggas that done die still looking for that fucking card. What? Facts. He probably bought it in the auction. That's definitely one of those things that I look back on, and, I, and I'm like, I know my mama still got my Pokemon cards hidden somewhere in that fucking house. I'm Mine like, got I, all lost in Katrina. <sighs> yep. Mm. But, yeah, man, I watched. And then I lost all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards in Gustav. But the. Life sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn. But the, uh, the, the, the best thing was, was the only thing that I could do. At that point, Nicole fell asleep. Like, she was already done. Mm-hmm. And then I went outside and started playing on my phone. And at every now and then I go check because the I think it was the New York Times were doing live updates mm-hmm. on their website. So I would keep, like, periodically, like, every five, ten minutes, I go click on and see if anything new would happen. I finished it on somebody's Facebook Live. Well, at one point, <laughs> somebody uh, from the New York Times posted – uh, the crowd has started booing. They are calling for a knockout, and at this point, I don't think they care who. Yeah, like mm-hmm. they didn't give a no. f- like yeah. they just wanted want to see something. somebody get hit. Yeah, because from what I saw, Floyd didn't throw that many punches. Nope. I mean, he uh, he boxed. Yeah, more or for less. sure. Yeah, but then like Logan looked like a wet dog out there, just fucking mm-hmm. flailing away. Flailing, oh dude, that part like I think it was the end of the first round when he just started flailing. Yeah, and it was like okay, so you literally just walked right into whatever. Floyd was trying to bait you in. Right. Like that. Punch, 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 hug. Mm-hmm. And none of those worked. At all. None of, none of the all. punches counted. Punch, <laughs> punch, 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 hug. That's why he threw 112 of them bitches. And only eight and of them le- landed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fucking number was. It was like, it was like 30 something, but still, nigga, yeah. like, you know, that's not the point of boxing. You know what I'm saying? It was all hugs. If you know you're not going to get the knockout, you need to stop 
throwing these wild ass punches. You know what I'm saying? Play Try chess. to get your numbers up, nigga. Play chess. Yeah. That's the whole point of what we're doing here. Because Floyd we're gonna chess. dance on you. That's that's yes. just, just him. He gonna dance on you. He not gonna let you touch yeah, him. Yeah, it definitely seemed like Floyd was out there for the money, and it seemed like. Paul was trying to knock that motherfucker out. Oh, yeah. yeah. He caught two of them. He yeah. caught a quick two-piece. Yeah. Because yeah. If like, it, like, it reminds me of those Eminem lyrics. And it was like whenever he was talking about the Machine Gun Kelly shit. And he was like, yep. it's like if I could. Or wh- who was that uh, that the battle rapper that did it? It was uh, like Mur- Murder Mook. Mm-hmm. It was like if I kill you, I did what I was supposed to do. Right. You kill. No, that, that was this hitman. Or you kill me tomorrow, you want Oprah. You know what I'm saying? Like, your face on posters. Like, this because it's like, I just came out and did exactly what I was supposed to do. If yeah. you beat me, game changes. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, everything, like, a whole, like, apocalypse. Right. Like, hell froze over. That's you know like what I'm when saying? Drake so, beat me. Yeah. yeah that was why. Meek is the battle rapper. That's why that, <laughs> it was more than just Meek being a battle rapper, dog. It was, you know what? We're not going to get into this again. <laughs> but it was. <laughs> But like it's just that, the best example. <laughs> but uh, like, like Eminem said in the lyrics, everything. against against Machine Gun <laughs> Kelly, it was like lose lose for me, win win for you, because mm-hmm. like, what what is it like? He said in that interview, it's like if I, it's like I'm I'm cr- I'm stuck between wanting to kill him, but not giving his name any more power. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's a, kind of what he did until Machine Gun Kelly decided he he won his his section like the worst way possible right that's why i told that's why i told mm-hmm. smurf not to put out that second disc record when uh with his face put out uh, yeah put out the the second one i was like get that shit who no shine yeah. shit? <laughs> that shit was whack <laughs> get that shit no shine that shit got a thousand views and died out in the two days yeah yeah nothing about it was entertaining i just remember he At put, all. he put me in one of the disc songs i just remember him dressing like an asian stereotype in the fucking video yeah. talking about not being an asian stereotype talking about raping people's children yeah, that's strange. Yeah. <laughs> and then he called me a hoe. <laughs> he said something. She's like, Scott, you a whole hoe. Like, and then just kept going. And I was like, that's, You're it? Right. that's all I get? <laughs> You're right. right. Yeah. See, that's the type of shit that I be getting offended over, Don't dog. disrespect me by just only saying that. Like, <laughs> There is more to me, sir. Yeah. I'm the one that get under your skin more than any of these motherfuckers. <laughs> that motherfucker hit me in my inbox one day, and we're not going to keep going. But that motherfucker hit me in my inbox one day and was just like, hey, Scott, what you think about this song? And I listened to it, and I was like, this ain't the one. Like, <laughs> that was back when him and, Smurf, him and Smurf were going back and forth. Then I remember I listened to the track, and I was like, this ain't it. I'm like, right. if this is your way of, like, and I wasn't even being an asshole. I'm like, if this is your way of trying to prove that you're the better lyricist, this ain't it. Right. I'm right. like, you better find something else in your arsenal before you throw it out there all willy-nilly, and you look stupid. Yeah. And, and next thing you know, he no, it wasn't even that. He ends up coming back at me. This was months before the disc drop, but he just came back at me, and he was just like, you know what? I don't give a fuck. He's like, I ain't got nothing to prove to y'all. I'm like, you're right on both accounts. Right. Like, you ain't got to prove <laughs> Motherfucker, you came to me for my opinion. I gave you my opinion, and now you mad? I'm sorry I'm not one of your idiot nigga, friends sitting nigga behind find, Come to find out he was right. You nigga, know what I mean? Nigga mm. asked me, is, uh, what you call it, if uh, me and Smurf wanted to do a show for him. I was like, all right, yeah, we need this much time and this much money. Mm-hmm. He was like, oh, it ain't that type of show. I was like, all right, well, we ain't performing. <laughs> the fuck? Done. <laughs> we ain't got nothing to talk about. But man, I, <laughs> God, local rappers piss me off. Goof ass nigga. That's another thing. Like I'm. Glad. I don't even like you that much. Like my homies get free shows. Nigga. As I'm as I'm glad time is going on. <laughs> as time is going on, that is one thing that I'm very happy about is that now I have officially crossed over into the section where people stop sending me their music. Mm-hmm. And I love it. I've never been more happy. I give a damn never hear another new mixtape. <laughs> From one of you trash ass The amount of motherfuckers that I had to tell, like, dog, your mixtape sucks. You know, or like your single, like, dude, it sucks. Yep. And then I would always just be like, damn, bro, why you got to put it like that? It's like, I'm sorry. Again, I'm sorry I'm not one of your friends that's going to lie to you. Right. It's like, I. First off, I'm not one of your friends. (laughs) That's the biggest (laughs) fuck. I don't even know you. (laughs) You want me to be nice to you, (laughs) sir? I'm probably never going to see you in public ever. Damn. Oh, so I can talk mad spicy. (laughs) And you're ugly. I bet you can't fight. <laughs> Your mama got a cleft foot. <laughs> she, <laughs> she run like a horse. <laughs> but yeah, oh, man. I mean, that's that's the worst thing about the the, the the one of the things that I always had an issue with with local is that it, it just feels like motherfuckers just do shit and hope something sticks. 
Yeah. I just throw anything against the wall. Like, I'm I like, tell you, fucking Beyonce <laughs> said it the best the other day. And I really don't like quoting Beyonce because, I mean, I, I like Beyonce, but I don't think she all that. But anyway, interesting. she was like, motherfuckers don't put out bodies of work no more. You know, they just putting out singles, 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 singles. So the average listener's attention span is this much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't want to hear the whole project no more. Nope. I remember when I was a kid, I used to, like, my mom had a... Um, Fuck, what was At name? this point, I'm tired of trying to make music for the younger generation to even try to like. It's Older pointless. niggas is it's fucking. Pointless. <laughs> it's pointless. It's pointless. That's, that's the niggas with money. <laughs> but, but like I remember having, I, appreciate you. I remember having my mom. <laughs> I remember my mom had a copy of um, it was one of uh, Michael Jackson's double albums. It was like a greatest hits album with yeah. like a whole bunch of like other stuff. And like I remember there was a couple of songs on it that I really liked, and I remember throwing them on. And skipping songs because I didn't know that they were actual songs. Mm -hmm. I just knew they had four or five songs on there that I really liked. And I knew one was number three, one was number eight, one was number 12. Yeah. And so I would just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I'd listen to it and I'd just be like, okay, that's the end of the album. Mm -hmm. And there's another song that I like. And I, I didn't actually, I couldn't recognize that there was yeah. actual music I in didn't between. Listen to, I didn't listen you to full I mean? songs until, uh, like, until full albums until I was, like, maybe in high school. Exactly. And then that's you when I saying? started to realize, because of Wayne, actually, right. yep. that, like, the every Carter song. Two, bitch. Oh, my God. The Carter 2. The <laughs> Carter 1, not so much. The Carter 2, yes, sir. But, like, yeah. that's what, exactly. That's when I started to realize that, like, every track can be awesome and that certain ones are picked specifically as promotion like that's when i started yes. to learn all of that yes and it's like now you that's when i in that era somewhere in there that's where you started to see like people putting together as you said bodies of work where yeah. it's like all the songs flow together there's a theme even if it's minuscule and like yeah. there's like you know the songs are organized in a certain way and yeah. like all of these and then somewhere in the past 10 years it's turned into, okay, I have three amazing songs. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to make it a 15-song album mm -hmm. with those three songs scattered, in, scattered there. in there. And all the rest of this is going to be some bullshit yep. with some sketches and maybe a feature here or there yep. to make you listen to the album. And I, I think that's the most disappointing part of the whole that's thing. That's why I was so proud of Jack Harlow. Cause front to back, his shit is a body of work. And I I hate how much I love that shit. Love the, that shit. Like it, the what's popping was definitely not. It was one of those like like you said how when we was a kid, you know what I'm saying? That was the promotional song yeah. mm -hmm. to draw you in to make you listen to this album. Now, when I listened to that album, it was to judge him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like I, I needed to hear something. Yeah. That was what's popping you know what for what me saying? when I first yeah. heard what's popping. It was to hate him from top to bottom. Well, no, actually, the first time I heard what's popping, I was scrolling through Facebook videos, and the video came up. I was like, this nigga look like PJ. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I saw the video, and I was like, I'm gonna watch this to hate this person. And then I'm like, this bitch. Yeah, is this bitch. I'm like, what's popping? Brand new. Live this happen. <laughs> but yeah, nah. It's it's from, top 10. As soon as the intro started, I was like. This is different. Yeah. yeah. Let me listen. Yeah. And then just progressively, it was a body of work, like top to bottom. And he saved the Tyler Hero, the What's Popping, all of that shit for last. I was like, fucking beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. I can take this and fucking play this back to back to back in a car ride or at home, cleaning the house and shit, mm -hmm. and in the club. You know what I'm saying? And that's what niggas ain't doing no more. No. Yeah, his album made me like him. Yeah, facts. No, and then it's just like, and then I, I see so many people just putting out music to put out music. Yeah. Because it's like there is this weird, um, vicious circle where it's like, on the one hand, you don't want to just keep putting out bullshit. Yeah. But then on the other hand, people's attention spans are so small that it's yes. like, some people think of like try to put themselves in categories of Kendrick, where it's like I can disappear for five years and then drop something and everybody. No, you I haven't. Just, you I, haven't I, I tried. You haven't. I tried. I <laughs> you do. haven't earned that. I respect. do this often. Right. <laughs> it doesn't work out. You my haven't. Favorite. You haven't earned that respect yet to right. be trusted as an artist yeah. for that to happen. Yeah. Facts. But then it's like I you also. Hear that Smurf? Yeah. 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 Now, not every ten years. Shit, um, nigga, I've been going. <laughs> last album I dropped was in 2018, beginning of 2018. Which one was that? Gas. Yeah, and I put out Gas two videos fire, in 2019. I did nothing in 2020 and nothing in 2021 yet. I mean, I mean, you said I, you, you got something in, in, in the works. Yeah, I fuck, nigga. I've been having shit in the chamber since 2020. Right but on. you know what I'm saying? That that's the the whole thing is like, I'm so 
drawn to the to the to the classic rollout of an album. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where you drop a couple singles and then you drop the right. album. You know, right. it, but create some hype. Exactly. Drop the it, album. It's, it's so hard to do yeah. that nowadays. You got to yeah. have something every other week for these motherfuckers. Yep, and that's what I told. You know? uh, that's and I, I respect the young niggas' worth ethic, work ethic who's out there doing that because mother, that shit is hard. And for it to hit every time, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That shit is hard, hard. Well, hard for a nigga who takes pride in his lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers who just put out, you know, I'm going to fuck your bitch and then take these drugs and then fuck your bitch again and then hit the club. No, that's, yeah, like, that's, that's, the, that's the hook right there. <laughs> Joe like, yep, that's. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your bitch and then take these drugs. Fuck your bitch and then hit the club. Ding, 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 ding. Is that a banjo? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, seriously, was that a banjo? <laughs> but, oh, and that's fuck. the shit that I'm trying to avoid because I take too much pride in my music to do that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But in the music game nowadays, that's the type of tip you got to be on. Or you got to be fucking a producer like D-Day-NL. You also have to be a character. (laughs) That's another thing that's aggravating. You have to be a character. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Which I also don't like. Because, I mean, it's like like people want authenticity, but then people also want a character. So it's like... They don't like being fucking okay with celebrating the average person. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like there's something about you that has to stand out and you have to be dope. That's you, why I love J. Cole so much. you have to be so a much. little dangerous. Yeah, yeah. You got to be able to shoot a nigga at any point. Yeah. <laughs> Especially nowadays. You got to be right. at Krispy Kreme with it on you. <laughs> and then they, to, as soon as the hot sign pop off, you got to be shot at. And then somebody turns and looks and goes, yo, is that a banjo? <laughs> it's the name of the episode. Yo, is that a is banjo? That a banjo? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. All right. No, but um, actually, number four, shout out, first of all, uh, to Dion Kamrat. Yep. I'm going to go ahead yep. and give him his roses real yep, quick. Yep. Cause, uh, My guy hit the stage with a legend last night, man, and got the fucking meet up with him afterwards. Bust the fucking rhyme, Yes, man. sir. So definitely yes, sir. shout out to Dion for yes, that, sir. man. Um, man is making moves on uh, XM Radio. If y'all got XM Radio, go check out um, Rock the Bells Radio, yes, LL Cool J Station. He be on there uh, like this is the like name of the this. single. And uh, like this, uh, at, especially after this conversation that we just had, I would hope that you, you trust us at this point to definitely go check out that track. Because first of all, Dion doesn't even know we're doing this. Yeah. But uh, definitely go check out like this because. You got him I, on Facebook? Call him on Facebook. See I, if he answers. I'm going to see. See if he answers. But it was, definitely, uh, it was definitely something to... Uh, listen to a track that, again, we talked about not too long ago, Breath of Fresh Air. Yeah, definitely. Because it was like, it was it was one thing. That track had been out for a minute, though. He just took the steps, finally, to put himself in the right position. Dion's a lot older than what he looks, you know what I'm saying? So his music tends to gravitate towards the older crowd better. But he was, you know, trying to appease the niggas, you know what I'm saying, that's in the younger crowd when... Like I was just saying, you know, you, you get that shit up, you might be able to find your lane better. Yeah. You know? Right. And then I remember. And that's what he did. Now he's doing fucking great, you know? I remember he put the um, he put the track out, and him and I were just going back and forth. And uh, he, he, I think he sent it to me. And I went and listened to it on Spotify, and I just kind of had it like how my headphones are right now, just kind of like one ear in, one ear out, and just kind of like doing whatever I was doing. And then I remember at one point, like my one of my favorite <laughs> pandering – one of my favorite movies of all time is Boys in the Hood. Mm-hmm. And uh, he definitely had that line in there where it was like, uh, how he said it, Pat, uh, give me the motherfucking gun, Trey, because mm-hmm. I'm in my own neighborhood and I don't feel safe. And it was like, God damn. Like, I remember hearing that bar and just being like, wait, run this whole thing back. Mm-hmm. And it was like it has that old hip hop yeah, feel yeah. to it. Like, you could yeah, tell yeah. you could tell whatever he was raised in. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, shit, and shit is like getting so watered down now that it, it's, it's making people go back and Appreciate right. and listen to more of the old school rap want and shit like with that. substance. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, so yeah, not now like like you, like you were saying that's starting to pop more for like the the older crowd and shit like yeah, yeah. that. Like niggas the, I age, the, the, the true listeners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. So I mean, uh, I just shot him a message just to see if he's around, and he hasn't even looked at it yet. So if I do hear from him before the end of the show, we'll give him a call. And um. Yeah, man. So, I mean, definitely shout out to Dion because it was definitely cool seeing somebody that, like, we've kicked it with because, you know, he was around for a while before he moved back to uh, Cincinnati. Yep, yep. And, uh, yeah, so it was like now seeing that same person 
who was hitting my phone like, hey, I'm doing a mixtape, and Scott, I want you to do the, the skits and this and that, and now I'm seeing him on sharing a stage with Busta Rhymes. Like, that's right. definitely dope as fuck. Right. So shout out to him Absolutely. for what he did. Yes, if sir. He, and if he ever does hit me back, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and give him a little time on the Hangover podcast. You know? Yep. But with that being said, <laughs> you all right over there, man? I'm good. I think it's dying. Did, uh, <laughs> did anybody get to see the new... Um, yep. Super, the world super, uh, Disney, um, the other thing that's going to soon take over the world, <clears throat> Loki yeah. dropped, yep. finally, fucking paperweights, god damn it, give your opinion, then we're going to tell you why you're wrong, mm-hmm. my opinion, mm-hmm. yeah. then we're going to tell you why you're wrong, okay, uh, my opinion was, uh, the first run through of the show was not a fan. I didn't like it. Uh, again, I thought this was the one I'm like, it, it, they have to peak at some point and then it's down from there. And I thought definitely watching the first episode of Loki, I got bored. There was a couple of moments where I was like, I don't even like to me, the Falcon and winter soldier was a, a great story that they were able to put together that opened more and more as the episodes went by. And I felt like I wasn't gripped from this first episode. Nicole fell asleep. And by the <laughs> end of the episode, a complete change of heart. So you didn't like the beginning of the episode? Like uh, you, didn't, you didn't like the explaining how they got there? I didn't necessarily like that. I didn't necessarily like, um, like to me, it started becoming a little cartoony. Started getting a little cartoony with like the the Minutemen and like all of this other shit that's going on, which I'm sure you're about to beat me over the head with it being comic book accurate. But I don't know. It's just for a little while. But now what I, what I, I was saying all that to say now, once I got to see the entire episode kind of come together, I have a new appreciation for it. Okay. Now I'm on board. Now I want to see episode two. Now I want to see where it goes from here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I feel like the beginning of it, it was, it was needed about like how he got to where he was at. Like, you know, like, I mean, cause we all seen him disappear in end game. Yes. Yeah, you know, yes. I thought that was fucking phenomenal. And I'll let you know from fucking, from the moment it started, I was ecstatic. Yeah. I was like a kid who's first time in fucking Disney world. I can fucking imagine like the <clears throat> entire episode. Because like you said, I, I know the comics. Yeah. So just the whole part of the TVA being brought into it, the fucking um, the motherfuckers who thread the timeline, Mm -hmm. um, it just lets you know, like, how the whole Infinity Stones being used as paperweights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just lets you know how minuscule of a problem Thanos was. In the, in the bigger picture. Compared to the shit yeah. Yeah, that they're going to be facing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It makes sense on why they introduced these people because... Mm-hmm. And that in, I understood the, by the end the of the episode. In the hierarchy of the Marvel comments, it's the motherfuckers who thread the timeline, Eternals, Captain Marvel and them, humans, and the Deviants, right. which you'll find out about right, in right, the right, Eternal. Right. Kind of like, like tell people to like the skip like a minute ahead or some shit. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely spoilers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, Too late. <laughs> it, it's the, it helps them intertwine their, I guess, you know, not to sound fucking nerdy about it, but their cosmic adventure that yeah. they're about to, you know, take hold on because this is where you get the, the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie. This is where... You know, you get the the reuniting of Loki and Thor. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Thor gains new powers because now he doesn't need the hammer of Thor anymore, as you've seen in Endgame. You know, yeah. he's got Stormbreaker, but Stormbreaker is just a weapon. You know, it's it's not even his power mm-hmm. anymore. How do you say the name of that fucking hammer? Mir Mir. Mir Mir? Yeah. It's literally Mir Mir? Yeah. It's like, it's got like a, a good... In the it's good. not Mjolnir? 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 It's like Mir Oh, okay, yeah. okay. It sounded like you were just going... Murmur? Mir, mir. Go watch right now. M-E-R, M-E-R. <laughs> murmur? Well, that's how they say it in the movie, so that's how I said it. Mir, mir. <laughs> but it's like mir, mir. I was, I was saying, go watch Ragnarok. Yeah. yeah like, I do need to watch Ragnarok. Ragnarok is real. If y'all haven't fucking seen it, it's a Dutch show on Netflix, but, they, you know, it's got the English not, dub, of Not course. Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. TV show Ragnarok. It's called I'm Ragnarok, Ragnarok on movie Netflix. Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok? Mm-mm. Oh, well, you got to watch that one, too. I do, obviously. Yeah. No, <clears throat> there's still a couple of them. I haven't seen Doctor Strange. I haven't seen uh, Ragnarok. 
That's another I one too that it helps think... tie in the fucking because this. So help... it is a Marvel show. Yeah, because this will help you understand yeah. more okay. of wait, wait, wait. why. Ragnarok is Ragnarok Marvel. No, well, Ragnarok is not a Marvel show. Oh, okay. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. I'm talking about fucking Doctor Strange. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But Ra- uh, Doctor Strange, that's another thing that it helps tie in is the you know the next Doctor Strange movie. Yes. You know, why it's so dangerous for him to manipulate the timeline, with and the time stone, and I, all of this I shit. I definitely yeah. caught that when they first brought him in, and he was watching the little uh, cartoon that they made for him to watch while he waited to be seen for his crimes, and mm-hmm. it was like, you know, just so we can help. Uh, control the madness of the multiverse and I paused it and I just looked at Nicole and she was like what and I'm like Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness yep and I was yep. like alright so like now you this s- is like as I said like I said at first it was like like you said it was like your first time at Disney World as a kid like you were so excited that was me. I started here, and then as this episode went on, I kind of no, I was there the entire yeah. Episode. No, I'm talking about me. It was just like eh. yeah. Like, I took, like, five Viagra finally. before the fucking show started because I was, wow, you know what I'm saying? And then finally, by the end of it, I was like, I'm on board. Here we go. Let's do this. <coughs> yeah. So it was like, yeah. Like, the, and that's what made me go back to the Doctor Strange movie is the whole, you know, them breaking down variants and shit. Yeah. This is going to cause that multiverse of madness because I feel like them stopping – Again, spoiler alert, skip it if you haven't seen Loki. Them stopping the other Loki mm-hmm. is going to allow this Loki to come back to life, but at a cost. Yeah. And that's when, you know, something's going to happen. When do you think Vision's coming back? Is it going to be Doctor Strange? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I think they're going to involve, they might bring him back, like, in, like, the final cutscene because I think they're going to involve Scarlet Witch before they involve Vision because... Like I, the the whole you know coven thing that I was telling you about her Doctor Strange yeah, yeah, yeah. and like a few other magic manipulators end up forming like a coven you know outside of the Avengers mm-hmm. to where they can control the whole magic side of shit you right. Know? But that that's gonna be uh, I feel like the draw in for that one because as you seen fucking uh, Scarlet Witch was reading the fucking uh, the book yeah. at the end and I feel like that's gonna have something to do with it as well. Yeah, I'm definitely. Uh, I, I was literally having this thought the other day as we watched. Well, as we were watching the first episode of Loki, and it was like, there's gonna come a time because obviously, our our son's gonna be born in a couple of months, and I'm like, there's probably gonna at the rate that they're going, there's gonna come a day where my kid's gonna look me in my face and go, so wait, like, did you actually get to see the original Iron Man? And I'm gonna be like, yes, son. Mm-hmm. There was a day back in 2008 that I was able to watch the first time because at, at a certain point. They're going to make, like, at the rate that they're going, they're going to make this multiverse, like, franchise so dense Mm -hmm. that, like, it's going to be almost impossible to go back and watch everything. Mm -hmm. Like, as of now, we have, what, 23 movies, I think, they stopped at? Mm -hmm. And so far, three shows. Mm -hmm. More than that, with Agent Carters and your uh, Daredevils and your Agents of Sealed and, like, all of that. So, it's like, at a certain point, it's going to become impossible to watch the entire like, that's why I'm trying to get, like, I've told her a couple of times, like, we need to watch, like, at least the core so we can keep it going from there. Because I'd be goddamned if 30 movies from now I still haven't seen Doctor Strange and now I have to go back. Just do right. it. Just do what I did, Me bro. Well, just do what we did. I still have to watch the other Captain America. And see if too. you go back and I need you to watch, watch the Winter Soldier. If you, if you go back and you just watch him, like, in the, what's it called, the Marvel... The cinematic universe? Yeah, if you just watch it in that order, like... Chronological order? The first one is Captain America. I know. You could, you could just knock that one out that's the how, way. Yeah, that's how we started it. <clears throat> we got... <clears throat> excuse me. We started watching them in chronological order, and mm-hmm. we made it to Thor 2. Ah. And then we kind of like... We're like, all right, next we got to watch Thor 2. And then See, and I feel like that's where everybody drops off at, because after Thor 2, it's the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And I feel like that's the most played ones on the fucking I cable. I love yeah. Everybody has seen Guardians of the Galaxy at least ten times. I finally got to <laughs> see <laughs> Guardians. I've only seen it one time, and I got to see it a couple of months ago, and it was fucking amazing. I don't know yeah. how it took me. And, like, just how I know if whenever I do finally watch Thor 2 and uh, Doctor Strange and Guardians of the Galaxy 2, like, I know I'm going to love it. It's just getting around to it. To it, right. That's, exactly. that's the hardest and that part. Was the, yeah, and that was the whole hang-up about it. It was, like, getting through them after you've already seen them. You know what I'm saying? Well, because one of the things with me and Nicole is right now we've uh, – we've because <laughs> I know you remember this. She got very upset with me because we started watching Lost. Mm-hmm. 
and we were like, we're going to watch the whole thing from beginning to end. We're fucking doing it. And then I fell off. And I was like, I am over watching Lost. For good now. reason. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the, I'm pretty sure the fans <laughs> of the, sh- the show remember that time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> man, me, Turtle, and Nikki was on here giving you shit about you'll just stop watching Lost. Watch the 100. <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch fucking Captain America. Like Lost just, is a waste of time. Yes. I yeah. tell people all the time it's fucking the waste first, of time. And look what happened. Watching that bullshit. First four, maybe, maybe five seasons. First four seasons Worth all make sense. Salt. Because it's, that's before the writers Some of actually, strike. Exactly. Some of the best TV writing you have ever seen in your fucking life. Yeah, absolutely. And then, but the fall off is hard. Yes. And then we season knew. five, like those writers fucking hung in there. And then mm. after they seen their fucking work, they were like, we're not going to be responsible for this. Yeah, shit. man. <laughs> <laughs> like once they start fucking with time travel, I was like, All yep. right, this is a wrap. Yeah, like, I saw, uh, I, I, I was watching a little bit when Smalls was watching it. Mm-hmm. And like when I saw the part where like, I don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna say spoiler alert, but no. fuck it. You know what I mean? This show when, is when, over when, ten years when, old. When they get, when they like get off the fucking island, and then they go back to it, I was like, this fucking show is stupid. Yeah, yep. yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. I, I actually saw that part. I was like, well, how would you go back? Like, you literally lost your fucking mind. And the then island. they're all dead. Right. Really? The whole time. Yep. They were all dead. They were all dead the entire time. Holy shit! Show. At the end of the show, big white light. Everybody's dead. Holy shit! Yep. They were Stupid all dead the whole time. They were purgatory. I've Stupid ever fucking had. show. Yeah. <laughs> That was the that was the hidden message behind the entire show is that the whole time they've been dead they're in purgatory. Yep. And now they're nope. going to heaven. Nope. Well, yeah. Nope. So all of this shit was the pointless. Fr- I guarantee <laughs> you, seasons one through four, writers was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man. That, but, no, these people were fucking alive. That guy was a drug dealer. I know it. <laughs> I wrote it. <laughs> but one of the other things that just came out recently, and uh, I finally got to. Oh, but no. Well, to wrap it up, the, whoa. We start, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's starting to rain outside, guys. Yeah, I've been watching that shit. I've been watching that shit behind you for the longest. Well, you but, you just let a nigga run up behind me, hit I, me with the fucking Zeus boat. I mean, I can't, I can't have all of us <laughs> freaking out. You know what I'm saying? But one of the things that me and Nicole now have is we're going to finish Shameless. Oh, okay. We are determined to finish Shameless. I thought you was about to say something else stupid. No, we just, uh, <laughs> it's just now I get off. We're going to finish The Sopranos again. <laughs> like what? Nicole needs to watch it once. <laughs> Just watch the Sopranos, and that's another thing that pisses me off about Nicole. I know she could hear me in there. Is it's like I never steer you in the wrong direction when it comes to movie. I have never made you sit down and watch a movie once. That was stupid. You made her watch Lost. No, she wanted to watch Lost. Oh, Nikki, I'm sorry. We both watched Lost. That L. was on both of us. L. <laughs> but now we're at the point where we're trying to watch Shameless, and we want to get through Shameless. But obviously we paused it when you reminded all of us in the group chat that Loki dropped. So yep. we were like, fuck, all right, hold on. We'll watch this later. Threw Loki on, went back to Shameless. And then I actually found out they got a new Stephen King show out called Lissy's Story. Yep. Which I have up there. I have never read before, but I am definitely interested in. Wait, and you have books up there that you've never read? Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of those books. I'm going to need you to get your money together, sir. No, some of those books were uh, bought for preparation. You aren't rich yet. Like, I'm going to read them? Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> you are spending that money I'm on going, better things that you're actually, going I'll, to do tomorrow. You want to know the truth? <laughs> a lot of those books up there. I don't know if any of y'all have ever seen, like, the Nerd book Room shelf, but it is packed from wall to wall with books. Mostly and Stephen King. Mostly Stephen King. And uh, the thing is, some of those books up there are, I've, I've read most of them that are mine. I can't speak for Nicole's. Some of them were bought just because they're Stephen King, and I was like, I will read them one day. And then some of them are up there because I uh, read them, but then wanted a better copy. So I got some of those up there. The worst one up there is my copy of The Shining, because I paid $75 for that copy of The Shining, because I saw it on eBay uh-huh. listed as a first edition copy of The Ooh, Shining. And it wasn't. Bought it for $75, and it is a second edition. Ugh. Yeah, still, still, not, still pretty still, good. I'm gonna yeah. say still not bad. I should have known from the fact that it was seventy five dollars that, that was first not edition, a first yeah. edition. But, <laughs> but still, first edition second, will cost you. Oh like, no, I mean it's still not a bad purchase. Like I mean, first edition will cost you like what, like five fifty, six hundred. Uh, mm, if you're uh, hard, if back. it's in, yeah, if it's in pristine condition, you could probably get it for about five hundred. But like uh, I saw a couple of them on there for like two, two fifty, three hundred. That's not bad. It's so, not terrible. So second, but they're just still, in shit condition. Yeah, because you know I know saying? hardbacks of Cujo are like a grand. Yep. Got one of them babies up there, first edition. Yep. Don't ride me. Uh, 
Nah, but uh, listen, that's story. The, trust me, that's the last thing niggas is looking for when they break in the house. <laughs> These books ain't worth shit. <laughs> they probably got some money hidden in here. But yes, nigga, every page you flipping through, I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I feel attacked like a mototrucker. No, nah, but no uh, pictures in these bitches. Fuck, I'm gonna use this book. Ain't no coloring pages. None sure. of that. Fuck this book. Leave y'all some coloring books behind. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it. Just uh, like bypassing all the expensive shit in this yeah. room just to like try to find just cold hard cash. <laughs> Look at your pops. Like, the fuck is these dolls, man? Uh, you got <laughs> toys and books and shit. It's a baby room. I'm out of here. <laughs> And the next Chris thing you Rogers know, coming with me though. <laughs> like, Boom, there it is. I found the banjo. Chris Rogers coming with me. I know this banjo got some fucking resale value. <laughs> Hit the string. Ding, ding. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> but uh, Lissy's story. I do that shit all the time. Every time I pick up a banjo at fucking Guitar Center, I hit the little. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and somebody stops humping their cousin for a second and goes, ding, 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 ding. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, <laughs> to fucking reel it in, uh, Lissy Story just dropped, I think, either this week or last, or last week. Last week, on, yeah. Uh, Apple TV. Mm-hmm. And did you watch it? Nope. Uh, I watched the first episode. And this was one of those ones where it was like, I saw it was a Stephen King so, so, show, so off back i'm going for it right so i watch we watched the first episode I, li- I like to typically let his run its course and then i'll watch the smart whole. yeah yeah because Ka- that's what i did with castle rock and uh, i oh, loved okay. it you know what I mean? yeah yeah yeah. castle rock's one of those ones that you really have to oof, you have to have patience yeah because yeah, it'll build it's, yeah, a, big it's, it's a big build it'll throw Eight you episodes. like it'll throw you like <laughs> subtle hints for you to fucking like Keep interested, like, oh, they're going to Shawshank Redemption Prison. Yeah, they don't want you, you know? to blow like, your load the yeah, first yeah. three episodes. They're going to Shawshank Prison. <laughs> did, yeah. you, did you watch that movie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're at Shawshank Prison. We're, we're taking a tour of the warden's office. And uh, if you notice, there's still the blood stain. and uh, A bullet hole from where uh, he shot himself. Yeah, yeah, a bullet hole from above the the window that we had to replace after he shot himself. And I was like, I've seen the movie. I yeah. know what you're talking about. I knew about. what happened. <laughs> and they, like, go into the cells and shit. Yeah. And they go into Andy's cell with the hole in the wall. Yep, that shit was fire. Yeah, I was like, but, ah, uh, I know that cell. But Lissy's story is one of those ones that I've, I've never just, like, that was one of the books that I bought just because it was Stephen King. And I was like, maybe one day I'll read it if I hear good things about it. So right. I looked and apparently, according to Stephen King, it's, it is his favorite book he's ever written. So I was like, okay, I'm definitely curious to see like what his would be. And apparently it's about a author who passes away and his wife is dealing with like the aftermath of what happens after the, the husband dies. And it's like, they have a stalker and apparently the husband was hiding some shit. You know, before he passed away, like some darker forces yeah, before right. he died. <laughs> so, like, I'm curious to see where it goes. But, like, we watched the first episode. It wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the critics that I saw wrote about it, and they basically said, uh, the movie tries to stay so loyal to its source material, it ends up weighing it down. Uh-huh. Which is weird to me. Right. Because my thing, if y'all recall, when I watched The Stand... Was that they went so far away from the source material that it, you fucking it, ruined it? Yeah, you didn't like the show. So it's like I don't understand where it is that it needs to go as far as source material goes. Like, do you think do y'all think that like staying too close to like comic books or like the source material can be a hindrance or? I see, and that's the that's a hard one to call because we've seen movies do it and succeed, but we've also seen a lot more do it and fail, like horribly. Right. Yeah, then, you know. then you have anime though. Like, like that's what I do. I, I read manga and I watch like anime shows. And that like, shit is so, accurate verbatim, like yeah. page for page accurate. Yeah, and like you, like I want those to stay close together because like I don't, I don't want to like read the manga and then like miss out on something because I didn't watch the show because I read the manga. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. And that's more or less what I'm, what I'm saying about it is like, because I, like I always say about all the Marvel movies, that's what I like about it the most is that it's comic book accurate. Now, the only, like, subtle changes they made, I guess, was for, like, I guess, um, cinematic sake, I guess you could say. Mm. Like, not killing Captain America because, obviously, the world's gonna fucking have a heart attack already from 
Iron Man dying in the heat of battle. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But in the comics, Thanos ends up killing both Iron Man and Captain America. Mm-hmm. Captain America doesn't get old and retire. He doesn't have a happily ever after. Yeah. You know? So it's kind of kind of understandable though, right? Like, you know, for, for the consumers, exactly, yeah. exactly. Like certain changes like that for consumer sake, I get. As long as it's still removing the character out of the equation, I'm mm-hmm. fine with it because it's still technically sticking to the storyline. Right. The only one that I'm I'm honestly the most upset with because of you know, of real life circumstances is Chadwick Boseman, because yeah. Black Panther does eventually die, but right? Not this soon. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I'm sure he had a <laughs> lot left to do. But um, I don't know. One of the things also that got me was like, for instance, Under the Dome. I'm sure loyal listeners of the show uh, will probably remember Nicole complaining greatly about me making her read that book because it is over a thousand pages of, to me, excellence. That is one of my favorite Stephen King books. I've read it three times. And what? Oh yeah. And <laughs> she read it one time and was like said I can't even read 3000 words. Come on now. <laughs> what are we talking about? Like a 1000 page book and three times? Yeah. And it Nicole was not happy with the ending, which I will admit is for Stephen King it is a bit of a cop out. Like um you I mean spoiler alert if you ever plan on reading this book, fast forward a minute. Uh, you're you're reading this book that has this amazing plot, beautifully written characters. Like the situations that they keep getting put in is is ridiculous. And then it's like, oh, so what caused this crazy thing that aliens? <laughs> and it's like, really? Like that's that's it? <laughs> and it was like I felt like as I was reading the book, like, and then it got to that part where it was like, this is basically aliens. It was right. like. I think Stephen King wrote himself like a masterpiece and then was like, ah, fuck, I don't know how to end this. And then like, that's basically, it was aliens. <laughs> like, I can't miss, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what The Walking Dead did. Really? That was their cop out. That when the, the fucking comic book series ended, that was their excuse for how the virus got started. Eee. An alien spore from space. What the that fuck? That landed on Earth and the government was trying to contain and then did not. That government containment shit gets old after a while. Yep. So some. I was like, really? I mean, you got them conspiracy theories. I'd rather them be like, yeah, we were trying to find like a cure for COVID. <laughs> that was, uh, <laughs> I Am Legend. Yeah, they were That's trying what they to did in I Am Legend. Yeah. They were trying to find the cure for cancer and yeah. then, <laughs> <laughs> fucking zombies. Is that a banjo? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nigga, it's Scott. It's the name of the episode. Yeah, but it's still funny. <laughs> Nigga blinks and now he's talking to mannequins. <laughs> and Lord. Every fucking day. I, I watched a, a, a video where somebody put that shit together and they were like, y'all were being assholes to Will Smith. That mannequin actually fucking moved. <laughs> and then they showed like a slowed down version of it. And like the mannequin actually does kind of like turn its head a little, like just very little. No! 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 <laughs> I'm sure Will Smith appreciated you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing was better, dog, than seeing that nigga walking through the street and then. <laughs> hey, what are you doing out of the store? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nigga, you moved me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. You are not supposed to be here. <laughs> that nigga set a trap for my son. <laughs> what a mannequin. <laughs> Who's the dummy now, Will? <laughs> 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 but yeah, I, I don't know. That that was one of the things. Like I watched the first episode, and it wasn't bad. Um, it it definitely seems like one of those things where it's like, okay, like this first episode was puzzle piece number one, and like if every episode is a clean cut addition to that puzzle, I think we got something here. But you know, sometimes with some of these new streamings and like all of the different like the, the money's kind of low the right. budget's kind of tight so then they have to take liberties but it looks like Stephen King also wrote the screenplay mm. and he uh I think he helped executive produce it and like stuff like that so it's like it might might be a good addition as opposed to the stand which ruined it every chance it took has anybody ever seen the alternate endings for I Am Legend Mm-mm. uh the one with the butterfly well the I mean the butterfly is in the, the actual movie too that's how he identifies the subject. It's I never heard of a butterfly tattoo. 
Okay. But yeah, nah, there's like two alternate endings. One was like the one where he had the grenade. That was the actual That was the ending. actual one where he ran up head to head with like yeah, the head honcho. But then I him. remember they had the other ending where he like recognized the girl was the whatever. Nah, the head honcho so nigga he, like fucking kept like screaming at him and screaming at him and then like fucking kept looking at the body. And he was like, oh, this your bitch? Oh, uh, my fault, son. And the nigga was like, ah! <laughs> and then took him and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the one where he like fucking opens the door real quick, screams in the nigga's face, throws the grenade, closes the door, jumps in the thing with the girl. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that it was better that he died. I, I fucking. It's sadder. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a Will Smith movie if you don't cry. Yeah, right. Fuck. <laughs> All right, so one of y'all sent an article the other day that I was very curious about. I didn't get to read it yet, so I'm hoping this isn't another children's hospital situation. But, uh, <laughs> you cocksuckers. You motherfuckers. <laughs> um, somebody's house got demoed while they were out of town? Oh, that was Nikki sent that. Oh, did she? Okay, yeah, so then, I don't know nothing about it. All right, so let me look up this real That's quick. That's fucked up, though. The fact, <laughs> though. Right. You know? <laughs> Come home like, yo! Mm. My oh. roof! <laughs> Oh, Nicole sent something. Uh, oh, that, that's about it. They sent something about the Black Panther expansion for Avengers for PS5. She eavesdropping? Oh, oh no. for PS5. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, I said that. I said they was coming out with a Black Ooh, Panther. Um, John Bernthal is back as the Punisher in the <laughs> upcoming <laughs> Disney Plus series. <laughs> that's fucked up that he the only one got a reboot. That's all I got to say. What you think, Luke Cage? Yup. Just because he black. <laughs> no, I said it. And what? I think all of them. Fight me. You think all of them should get their they spots back? Nah, Jessica Jones was just a slut with powers. You didn't like her? Yeah, all she did was fuck everybody. And like, I hard, and aggressively. I, and I actually How you got super strength fucking regular humans like the only one that being I've seen on top. The only I, one I've seen is Daredevil. And I actually watched Jessica Jones, too. She be breaking bed frames on niggas. With Luke Cage. Was it? No. Nah, Luke Cage broke her bed frame. Um, oh, they was fucking? He gave it a hammer. Yeah, and uh, Jessica Jones, yeah. <laughs> hmm. If anybody gonna fuck her, it's gonna be Luke Cage. Yeah. Was <laughs> was Jessica Jones good? <laughs> it was all right. It was all right. It's kind of like some P.I. type the only shit. Thing yeah, I they had, yeah, they had, um, I like the plot of it. I, yeah, I, I yeah. definitely did. Like, yeah. Just, like, yeah. <laughs> Very well put together. The only thing I hated about, <laughs> yeah. the only thing I hated about Luke Cage was that uh, a black man finally gets a, a superhero show all to himself and he's gotta be bulletproof. That's a reach. I mean, I feel like it's perfect. He can wear a hoodie, nigga shoot at him and be like, ha, you thought. George Zimmerman would shit on himself. That was that was like his costume. <laughs> that was like his <laughs> George Zimmerman would shit on himself. <laughs> George Zimmerman. Oh. Yo, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> that was like It his... was in this moment. George knew. That was like he his costume. Up. That was like his costume uh, in the show for um, I think like the second season when the whole actual Black Lives Matter movement started. Yeah, that he bought, that was his costume as he went around kicking niggas' asses was just a black hoodie. Hmm. Yep. I told y'all we uh, we almost met the guy that played Luke Cage. I can't remember the, the gentleman's name, but uh, we, I just know he says "Sweet Christmas" a lot. <laughs> Sweet we met Christmas. We met him. Well, we almost he didn't curse. He didn't. We almost met him at a uh, at Comic Con in New Orleans. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he he's definitely an intimidating man. Yeah, he uh he was signing some autographs, and the rule was you could approach people, but only if they weren't busy. So I tried to approach these people because I thought that the uh, the people that was getting their autographs or whatever would, would would hurry the fuck up. And then a line started forming behind me, so I was like, "Oh fuck, we gotta go." <laughs> so I was like, "Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up!" And then they wouldn't move. So finally, I just went, "Hey man, love Jim Luke Cage, bro. I think you're the best." And all he did was just. And oh, I was like, Lord. ooh, okay. Oh, All he did, he did just a quick look up. <laughs> he must up. have just found out his shit got canceled. He did like, <laughs> he just did one quick look up at me, and I was just like, ooh, sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. Yeah, that was probably Terry Crews. <laughs> 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 Wasn't it Luke Cage, nigga? Fuck <laughs> 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 that just being a dick. <laughs> White chocolate. <laughs> Big ass robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot what the fuck we were talking about. Oh, um. But yeah, I mean, uh, did, did y'all like John Bernthal's Punisher? Yeah. I didn't watch it. it you know right. what? You didn't watch Daredevil either? No. Say Red. You ever get tired, Red? That was the first time I ever cried watching a stupid-ass Marvel show. Motherfucker said he uh, told a story about how his daughter asked him if 
she could read him a bed if he could read her a bedtime story, and he said no because he was too tired. And then the next day they came in and killed my whole family. I never did get to read her a book. One bit, two bit, penny and dime. Family's dead. <laughs> <laughs> then okay, Batman. <laughs> Why I said that nigga sound like Rorschach from uh, Watchmen. <laughs> Did That's what they watch need. That? Yes. Yeah, the Watchmen yes. series. I didn't, I no, didn't, I didn't finish, finish it. I didn't, I didn't watch finish the series. I, yeah, the Watchmen watch series is dope. Really? I watched the movie. Yeah. I read the book, and I watched the first couple of episodes of Watchmen, but I, I fell off, of, like, not f- because of it being bad. It was actually fucking amazing. Yeah, it was really good. How but many seasons is it? One. Just one. They canceled it after one season. Yep. It was a really good fucking show. I don't know how they canceled it. fucking mind. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> Disney about to get all this shit back popping, though. No, Rorsch, uh, Watchmen, Watchmen's DC. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Let me get yep. you a uh, vape. But uh, what was it? Oh, man. Rorschach has one of the best quotes of any comic book. Man, character. I think it dropped gems that whole movie. Hold on. There it is. Where is it at? Rorschach. Ooh, found it. One second. You guys are terrible. The city, this city is afraid of me. I've seen one. Well, <clears throat> this city is afraid of me. I've seen its true face. The streets are extended gutters, and the gutters are full of blood. And when the drains finally scab over, and all the vermin will drown, the accumulated filth of all their sex and murder will foam up above their waists, and all the whores and politicians will look up and <laughs> shout, "Save us!" And I'll look down and whisper, "No." <laughs> Shut up with your ugly ass overcoat on, nigga. That, that motherfucker dropped Jim, son. <laughs> They're just walking up the street like, just, it, it's just more like venting, like venting his depressed thoughts. He should be outside yelling. But I feel him, though. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I feel his energy. Oh, wait, but I forgot. I want that mask for Halloween. Uh, they, they got him. The heat, what'd you call it? Does it move? Ooh. No, uh, it no it'll, it'll have like one set. Uh, ink blot, but when you breathe out, it'll change. Change, and then when you breathe in, it comes back. That's but cool it, enough. Yeah, it's cool. I was gonna be him a couple of years ago if it wasn't for all, like all the like shit that lo- for Halloween. If it wasn't for all the shit that it takes to like get that comic book look for him, was like like the overcoat by itself was like four hundred bucks, and it was like all trying right. to and then trying to find a rip off of that is like almost impossible. You know, you can just go to the thrift store. Yeah, exactly. That's what I needed to do. I know a couple of bitches with some fucking trench coats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Might have like a furry collar. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, but I mean, mask, but I'm, I'm, no I'm about to say, all I, at this point, all I need is the mask. You know what I mean? Like, you should try to play on me. <laughs> me and this furry collar going to fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right. hug you in this bitch. What else oh. we got? Uh, I bought the house last year. The builder started in February, and we wanted lots of work done so it could be so it could be it could become our family home for six of us. We wanted a two story extension, a new roof, new wiring, and for it to be more environmentally friendly. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Unfortunately, I picked the wrong builder. So apparently, uh, the house was a, it was a five hundred thousand dollar house. Mm-hmm. It was left without a roof and scattered with rubble. Uh, the owner who bought it last year said he and the builder fell out over a $3,500 bill. He said he's contacted the police who said it was not a criminal case. Yep, civil. And emailed trading standards. The builder demolished a $500 detached property while its owners were on holiday after a dispute over money. Wow. So first things first, <laughs> I need my five minutes. Bare minimum, I need to beat the shit out of you. Absolutely. I feel like the owner deserved it. Like I, do, like, I don't feel bad for you. Cause you bought Speak this, on it. you bought this house, and you wanted to do like all. You wanted to extend it like so much. You wanted to put like, like hum, like an upstairs on it. Yeah. You wanted to build an upstairs on it. Like, dude, just buy a house like with some of this shit already done to it. Or that, or or just pay me my fucking thirty five hundred dollars. You cheap son of a bitch. That's like, what I'm getting at. Why too. are we disputing over thirty five hundred dollars, motherfucker? You got five hundred thousand dollar house that you getting renovations done to it. Yeah, like uh, should yeah. be the very minimal of what I'm charging you. Man. That better be for fucking materials. Like uh, my <laughs> <laughs> like, like my boss, for instance. I know he bought his house for a couple hundred thousand. It wasn't nothing crazy, but like the renovations that he put to the house, the house is now valued at over a million dollars. So you know what he, he's paying. Yeah, but did he extend it or anything? Oh, like he that? added a whole bunch of shit to it. Like I think he added a whole upstairs and everything. Yeah. Like, uh, 
So it, Dude, well, like I well, no, you now should it's buy like, a house with, with upstairs already. I mean, or you're literally you could buy a house with an upstairs already. Pay uh pay a note for a house with an upstairs already, or you can extend your house. You're gonna pay extra money, but now you're paying a note for a house for a million dollar house for a two hundred thousand dollar home. Right. You know what I'm saying? The so house like, is not worth a million, but you're only paying for a two hundred thousand dollar house. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So like that's that's probably where that came it's from. It's all about appreciation, not depreciation. So, yeah, on this one, it's kind of like looking at the owners. Like, you knew you had beef with the dude that was renovating your house, and the first thing you do is go out of town and celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come home, and now you ain't got no roof. You already know what that's her? I'm just looking at what's up with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's that light skin <laughs> shit, Tracy. <Tuesday. laughs> you know how you know, the light skin niggas walk by the mirror and be like, work, work, get it, get it. <laughs> But while we were talking about <laughs> movies earlier, I forgot to bring up because I definitely wanted to uh, get your opinion on this. Um, I personally am one of those people that I do. I am one of the few not. Well, I guess I, you can, the few the proud. I, I guess you can call me a weirdo because I, I've definitely been I've, I've, been, I've been a weirdo, <laughs> especially with this nerd room that I own. But um, shit, I like horror movies. I love horror movies. I love horrors, too. Horrors? No, horror movies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are y'all still here for the show, or, or are we are we all checked out? Don't say, don't say, y'all. This turtle, it's shit just funny. But I love horror movies, but I do think that like that's all I can hear now. Yeah, right. But I do think that some of the, or uh, most of them actually, I will say that most horror movies. God damn it! Horror. See? Horror. See? horror. But I do horror think most movies. scary movies that they put out now in the terror genre. I do think that they're most of them are trash. Like it's very hard. It's very rare nowadays that you get a good one that they put out and actually like uh, the Conjuring one to me was great. And then I think everyone that they've put out afterwards has been okay or dog shit. Yeah. Or would you agree? Yeah, I mean I'd say they're okay. They're okay. I wouldn't say they're like scary. Yeah, right. So I mean that's my issue is that I actually do like watching movies that scare the shit out of me. Right. Mine. Same. Spiral. You said you got to watch it. Yes. How did you feel about it as far as a... It's more suspense and gore okay. than horror. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I feel <laughs> like, like the way you enunciated that. <laughs> horror. Horror. Uh, but I feel like that's all the Saw movies. You know, it wasn't really no scary shit. Yeah, in towards the, the Saw end. movies. It was more of just like, oh my God, why is that guy peeling off his eyeball? Yeah, you like know? towards like Saw 4 and up. Saw three and up. Right. I kind of just started watching it for the twist at the end. Right, right, right. right. Not so much for the movie itself. And exactly. Like the horror portions of it. <laughs> I just wa- I just want to see the creativity and the torture. <laughs> that shit is fire. Yeah, it is, dude. Like, like I'm look. Don't judge me, but mm-hmm. I, I love to see that creativity. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, put a key behind a nigga eyeball. Come on now. Come on, <laughs> Back dog. in it, them, you got to dig your fucking eyeball out. <laughs> yeah. Like, <coughs> first like, off, how you got it in there? <laughs> and now I can still see out of this eyeball, but there's I am a not. There's no pain behind my fucking eye, but there is Look, a key back there. It's not my fault you're not a doctor. Did y'all ever see? I got it in there. Did y'all ever see Living with Jigsaw? No. The mm-hmm. little. The little uh, skit on youtube no nah. they had a dude that uh it was like it starts off with like the little saw doll sitting on the fucking couch watching tv and the dude's just staring at him and the, the saw doll just and he's like so what's it like living with jigsaw and the dude's like not like you'd think <laughs> and then like it goes in and it just shows what it was what it would be like living with jigs like the, the puppet jigsaw yeah. is like your roommate and it's like, hello, Marcus. <laughs> I would like to play a game. All right, well, I'm late for work, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like uh, what, what, no, what was this? Like, he's sleeping in bed, and, like, he's, he's half asleep, and you just see the little doll hand touching his face. Gary. <laughs> Gary. 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 And he went, what? Gary. <laughs> what? What? I'm awake. What? And the little doll just looks at him for a second. <coughs> you are completely surrounded by armed mouth strikers. Why <laughs> <laughs> like, he gonna get his shit off? <laughs> God damn it, Jigsaw! <laughs> and what, wait, what was the other one? It was like he's uh he's on like a little date with his wife, and he's like laying, he's sitting on the couch. God damn it, you innovation, <laughs> you in- innovative motherfucker, you. <laughs> 
Let me do what I do, all right? All right, fuck it. I'm here with you. We're going to do this. That's fucked up, yo. Yeah, I ain't got one right. of those. <laughs> but, like, he's on a date with his wife, and he's sitting on the couch, and then uh, they got, like, a bowl of popcorn in front of him, and they both sit down and take a sip of their wine, and as they're taking a sip, he pops out the fucking popcorn. Your, your, <laughs> the wine in your glass has been replaced from the blood of a twi- three-toed sloth. <laughs> And it's like, he like goes into the bathroom and it's like a bunch of like little, uh, like one blade Bic razor blades and it's like all over the floor. And he's like, uh, your, your toilet has been overflowed and it will, in in one minute it will overflow and cover your electronics. He's got like his iPad and everything on the floor. It will completely submerge your electronics. You must walk over this razor blade. (laughs) And he just shuts the fucking door. This shit was fucking hilarious. Like, that's all I think about now while I'm watching the fucking Saw movies. But, um, no, I, I didn't get to, I don't think I saw the last Saw movie. Like, uh, saw 7, I think uh, it was. Um, you see, this one is Spiral, a book of Saw. Yeah, so it's like a, is, is, uh, so Jigsaw is still involved? No. No. Copycat. This is a Jigsaw copycat. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The one thing that I did know about it was there was a part where. Because Jigsaw's dead. Yeah, well, he, he's been dead since, like, movie 3, 4, 5. 5. You sure? Yeah, because four he was on like bed rest, like and a person was working with him, and then five they finally was able to kill him. At like the beginning of the movie, they cut his throat. Yes. Yeah. One of one of my things is when people are like, they be like, oh, it's just a copycat. Like, yo, this nigga is still getting his shit off. Though. What? Why do you Facts. not seem worried? What? Like he is still like pulling like some jigsaw shit. Like, so you, you saw it too? Yeah, what, yeah. So you, you watched Spiral? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. So did you like it? Yeah, I did. Okay. So like in, in comp- again, the creativity with the fucking torturing and shit is my favorite. Was the one with a uh, Megan Good fine ass. Yes, I forget which one it was, but it was like all like it was like ten of them throughout the whole. Get your shit off, King. <laughs> <laughs> Turtle is setting <laughs> precedent and shit. <laughs> but it was like with her. I remember the whole movie. There was like ten of them, and then one by one, they each like one person got sacrificed, and then it wasn't until the very end that they realized if they would have just stuck together. Yeah, they, they could have all up. lived. Yeah, that's like, like uh, that movie Escape Room. I really like that one. I did like it, and I uh, they're I coming thought, out with the second one. I know, and I thought that uh, the first <laughs> it's gonna be like Escape Room Champs or some shit. Yeah, I remember the uh, the first <laughs> one was the <laughs> the first one was cool. I thought the first Escape Room movie was cool. I just thought it was one of those. It was missing something. I don't know what it was, but I just felt like it was missing. It was, it was missing movie. the person behind that motherfucker. Yeah, that, that might have been you, it. That son of a, I catch the son of a bitch that put me in that fucking room. <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> so that, that was like that looked like they were trying to like kind of recreate their. All right, y'all. Show's over. We gotta go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if y'all don't, it's spoken <laughs> fucking thunder, bro. Yeah, if y'all didn't hear that, like the thunder just went crazy outside <laughs> the house. But uh, oh oh oh, hello Nicole. Hi. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. That shit scared you, son? The baby jumped and shit? Yeah, oh, Jack. Jack, now great. The dog's in here stepping on the wire. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Give no fucks. <laughs> Sorry, guys. One second. <laughs> Jack took his headphones. <laughs> Dad, dad. This motherfucker dad. just came and took the like wrapped himself up in the fucking headphones and then took it took the shit with him. Oh man, but no, because like I uh, like I said, I like the creativity. I like not knowing how it's gonna end. Like that's the only reason to me M Night Shyamalan movies are still worth the fuck because yep. even though they're usually shitty movies, they're still like you can't guess the ending. Yeah. And like uh, that's why like did y'all see the trailer for that new one he's got coming out? Yeah, and I said Old. I said the same exact same thing. I was like nobody's gonna understand a fucking thing in that no. movie until the end. Until the very <laughs> end, it's like oh I brought my four year old daughter to this beach and now all of a sudden she's thirty, and it's like what the yeah. fuck is going? Remember on? Remember we see the, the trailer for it the other night? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean I remember you saying that. But so spiral by itself, like the one thing that I did know about it was uh, a magician. That I'm actually a big fan of was he played the drug dealer in the movie that got sprayed in the face with the uh, and then he got tackled onto a table. His the bone was coming out of his fucking leg. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Rock got on him and was like, "Oh, you want me to tag you yeah. Instagram?" And yeah, yeah he's a uh, he's, he's actually poking his leg. Oh, he's actually a fire sh- ass fucking magician on YouTube called uh, named Chris Ramsey, mm-hmm. and he's fire as fuck. And he he told the story about how like he got into that whole situation because apparently the director of Saw 
is like, yo, I think you're dope as fuck. It'd be cool if you like come on the like you want to die in a Saw movie. And he was like, that was the pitch. And I was like, <laughs> fuck yeah. I mean, yeah, you know I'm saying? I ain't no actor. I'd be okay with it. Let's, let's get it. Yeah, he said there was a moment where they shot it for the first time. Dude, all right, we got to wrap up. Terms getting bored. <laughs> <laughs> but there was, a, uh, there was the moment he said, like, they went through it the first time. And Chris Rock was coming over and, like, doing a thing where he was snapping pictures. And he was like, oh, you want me to post this on your Instagram? And he's like, and I looked up and went, make sure you tag me, motherfucker. And Chris <laughs> Rock was like, I like that. I'm using it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. But so y'all, would y'all say that it was a good addition to the Saw or maybe even a revitalization of the Saw franchise? Uh, I'd say it was a good one-off. <laughs> you wouldn't want to see a sequel? No. There no. was no need. Okay. No, yeah, it's yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. If you see the movie, you'll understand why. It okay, movie, okay, yeah. okay. Now, if they want to do, like, more, like, spiral movies. That like, a, the just, book of Saw? Right, right. Like, okay. you know, just putting out, you know, like, copycat movies. Yeah, I think that'd be cool, copycats. you know what I'm saying? Was Sam Jackson good in it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he played fucking Samuel Jackson. Okay. Yeah, he was the black guy. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a couple more things that we can get the fuck out of here. Um... Trina versus Eve has been confirmed. What? Trina versus Eve. Man, I got fitty on Trina. I was about to say, who y'all got your money on? The baddest bitch. What you got, Joe? All Eve got is that one song with Gwen Stefani. Yeah. Anything, Joe? No, nah, I ain't got nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I ain't got nothing. Well, and we will blow your mind. I was about to bet against Turtle just because. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it was a good idea because I could not think of anything either. Yeah, was, I literally was, uh, same, same. I'm sitting there like I, I kind of wanted to go with, e, uh, with Eve, but then I was like, mm, Trina got some fucking bangers. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that apparently is uh, going to come before Bow Wow versus Soldier Boy, <laughs> which we didn't really speak too, 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 too much on. But, uh, yeah, so y'all are... I saw Chris Brown versus Jason Derulo. Uh, I don't know why Chris Brown would be in a versus with anybody. I mean, I don't I don't, I don't, know Especially how... Especially Jason Derulo. Yeah, I don't know how real it is, but I, I like, I saw, like, the, the... It's probably something Jason Derulo put together for himself. <laughs> I, you <laughs> know? can do it, guys. I promise. I've been working on my TikToks. Mm. <laughs> what? Uh, so how do y'all feel about Bow Wow versus Soulja Boy? <laughs> Who do you think will win that one? Bow. Wow. You think so? Yep. Bow Wow versus who? I'm sorry. Soldier Boy. Big Draco. Big Draco. Godfather of hip-hop. <laughs> Bow Wow. <laughs> I think Soldier Boy will win. You think so? Yeah. Just no. to be an asshole to Turtle? No. <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm like serious. Well, he'd probably lose because like the stupid shit he's Soulja like, Boy ain't got Soldier Boy got one song for the hoes. One, Kiss yeah, me but like the phone. he had, he had Bow Wow is the fucking I made songs for bitches from like nineteen ninety something all the way to two thousand eight. Yeah, but like, and then he signed the Cash Money. Soldier, Soldier Boy had us up, you know what I mean? Like for like a minute. I, I, we know his dances. You know, we what know mean? a dance. A dance is correct, and I barely know it now. I don't remember it a Wait, lot. I, do you know Burbog? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I'm it's disappointed a, in you. Good God. That's yeah, literally all I'm about to say, yeah, that's all it is. How could you not remember Burbog? Because uh, I never I remember Burbog before I remember the entire Soulja Boy. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. You so. and my ass off, though. <laughs> <laughs> you. You there. Hey, man, Donk. You got Donk? Yeah, sure. That's a whole song. Mm-hmm. All the hoes get down on the floor to that one. Mm-hmm. Um... Kiss me through the phone. Kiss huh? me through the phone. That was one. Soldier Girl. I don't that even remember stupid. that one. That shit was stupid. That was a little bit. Uh, that I don't one. Even remember that, that one. was the one that he dropped. I remember. Out. Kiss me through the phone and don't. What else you got? I think he dropped. Uh, what else you got? I'm. Cu- I think. <laughs> I think he dropped Soldier Girl like right after Crank That, and uh, then from there, uh, turn my swag on. Mm-hmm. Speakers yeah. going hammer. Yeah. Kiss, kiss, kiss me through the phone was like that banger for. Oh no, it was tone. absolutely that banger. I'm just yeah. talking about his hits. Because I don't want Soldier Boy to win anything in life. Like, I know you don't. I hope he gets chlamydia <laughs> every day. Um, but I'm just thinking about it when it comes to Bow. It's like, what, Bow Wow's going to come out with that Let Me Hold You, you know? 
The one with Chris Brown. What was the name of that song? Pretty sure it was Let Me Hold You. I'm not no, no, that was him and Omarion. Yeah, yeah, him and Omarion. Uh, the one with Chris Brown was uh, Shorty Like Mine. Shorty Like Mine, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Shorty Like Shorty Mine. Like mine. He gonna come out with that. You ain't right, you ain't right. Ooh. You ain't gonna oh, like a fuck. Ooh. You ain't saying nothing, homie. You, you ain't, ain't fresh as I'm is. is. You ain't big, big, tipping, steady, whipping. Whip yeah. No girl getting homie. You, you ain't, ain't fresh as I'm is. is. Damn, soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, soldier. <laughs> We're just we're not as afraid that there's gonna be a shootout as we're gonna come out with cheesy. that little bow wow. You just don't know the way you move so fast okay. across, across the floor. I don't even know that one. <laughs> what? I don't know that one. The way you run through my mind like all the time. To the point that I just wanna take, take you home. home. Yeah. We're playing. That's that, what, that was when they first yeah. <laughs> That was when they was first doing the little shit, you know. Little yeah. bow wow. You just don't know the way you move so fast. <laughs> so 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 down. So, so, so. Hmm. I well, represent we got... that. What's my name? Sorry. Yeah, now, yeah, so do you, boss. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. <laughs> but one of the, uh, all right, so the last thing before we wrap up, uh, there was something that came up recently in the trial of Pop Smoke. Rest in peace to the God. Yes, sir. Rest in peace to the God. Because, unfortunately, well, unfortunately, however you want to look at it, I have officially become a Pop Smoke fanatic. And so probably a good 40 to 50 percent of my uh on on repeat playlist on spotify is pop uh, i'm gonna ask you that again in a year okay nigga saying the outside <laughs> i feel like he doesn't have enough work for anybody to be a fanatic it's a except his Give me lit. Got on my head. one and a half he made it to 2k baby, baby don't you. <laughs> so did nipsey after he died um yeah but nipsey was on madden though i might just hit it wrong nuh-uh he was, on, he was on Madden before that. I'm pretty sure. He short. I might just hit it raw. Hold up. That's on my element. <laughs> I don't need this from you, bro. <coughs> I like dog skin. Was he on Madden Love 20? Melanin. Was he on Melanin. <laughs> was he on Madden 20 or Madden 19? I'm pretty sure he was on like... Boom, you're wrong. Because <laughs> if it was 20, he died in 2019. No, he was on He was on like a Madden before that. I'm pretty sure. Like, don't, a lot of we'll me. have to look it up. But uh, anyway, the, the people... Don't the parents of the person who, or one of the people that killed Pop Smoke, uh, recently reached out to ask if they could speak with Pop Smoke's parents. What? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. One of the killers? Yes. One of the killers' parents asked if they could speak, speak to Pop Smoke's parents. Okay, Smoke's that, parents. that's understandable. Because um, I'm pretty sure that saying, didn't Devin's parents try to talk to? I don't. I don't remember. Bowie's? I don't remember for sure. I, I don't want to say yes or no because I don't. I really don't remember. I, I thought. I thought it. I thought it. Yeah, I, mm, I, 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 me personally, I probably punch you in your face just by default. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like I got nothing to say to you. Yeah, I that's, really don't. That's that's. There's really seven. Don't. There's seven your billion people. Your kid's still people. here. Mine's not. There's yeah, seven yeah, billion thought, people on the planet. After I whoop your ass, let me see how I feel. Right. There, there's seven billion people on the planet. Your one friend, I don't need. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we never have to have a conversation. No. Nope. I appreciate you. Yeah. Right. I appreciate the thought. Yeah, yeah but. Stay over there. It yep. ain't gonna go the way you think. No, nope. yeah, it ain't. Uh, <clears throat> as soon as you say something about your kid being a really good boy, I'm a. Yeah, I'm gonna choke the <laughs> shit out of <laughs> you. Oh my god, Bye. how sick I am of hearing that fucking me, shit. Me, me, me. <laughs> it was it was funny because we I'm were. Only two with your ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> It was funny because earlier we were watching an episode, uh, something. Not to cut you off. You want to look Phillies after this? They closed. Oh, oh fuck! I feel like this is a conversation. God damn it! Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but one of the one of the things that uh me and Nicole were doing earlier was we were watching uh, Phillies. A, <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead, son. One of the things we were doing earlier was we were watching uh Dis- fuck, they closed. Discovery ID. And they had an episode of Chris Watts. Uh, I think we talked about the documentary and everything yeah, on yeah, here. Yeah. The guy had killed his wife and his two kids. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were watching that, and one of the things was he had originally said that the wife was the wife killed the daughters, so he killed, killed her. Killed the wife, right, right. That was his original story, right, right. And then one of the uh, reporters were on there, and they were like, "This was a loving, doting mother that would never." do this to her children. And Nicole poked her head like she was doing herself in the, up in the bathroom. She poked her head out and she was like, how the fuck do you know? <laughs> how, the fuck, <laughs> how the fuck do you know that she was this great mom? And it's that in the fifth. And I was like, because she's dead. 
if she would if it would have turned out that the original story was that he did kill her because she killed the kids, then it would be like this cunt of a woman. Right. That did it. It's fucking so, Casey Anthony in the making. And I think it's the same thing when it comes to like a murderer's parents, where yeah. it's like, oh, my son would never have to, but he did, bitch. Right. What are we having a conversation? What do we need right. to talk about? Right. <laughs> We're not talking. But no. I can say that I can say that shit same shit too about my mom though. I can go fucking blow up the fucking city course, hall right yeah. now. My mom would be like, he would never, knowing damn well I would. <laughs> yeah, but she yeah, would too, though. So, <laughs> exactly. So, what exactly. Do, so what do we need to talk about? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> apparently, the, uh, the mom is a school teacher in New York City, and uh, apparently she humbly... Pop declined. Smoke's mom? Yes. 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 And yes. apparently she humbly declined. Yes. And she said, while I appreciate the thought, right. uh, there's... There's too much going on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I and I respect her for that because I'm Nah, cool. I'm cool. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I heard. Nah, I'm all right. We ain't got nothing to talk about. <laughs> yeah, I'm not cool. Talk about. You straight? Because like in that moment, it's like I I don't know. I only know a handful of uh the person, the person who took a, a, a friend from us. I only know a handful of his family. And him and I have spoken since. And uh, like you know, it, it's that moment where he was just like you know I I don't want his family to hate me. And they were like they don't hate you. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're like, you know, they just, why Why would they want to talk to you? Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, like, that's still my guy. Like, if I ever see him, it's all love. That's his cousin. It's not him. You right. know what I'm saying? But I mean, that's Smurf's cousin. Exactly. So it's like, looking at it, it's like, I, I don't have an issue with you. I have an issue with your cousin. And unfortunately, that's your family. So it's like, if you and I sit here and we have a conversation, that's your family. Like, you might instinctively try to take up for them. Right. Instinctively, and right. instinctively, I might choke you out. Exactly. Right. So why not just avoid the whole situation? Yeah, right. Like, like I said, there's seven billion people in this world. We don't need to talk. Yeah. Right. I could talk to the other seven billion. Yeah. Exactly. You could be one of the few that I just avoid at all costs. Exactly. If I ever see you in Rouse's, by all means, shot, baby. We ain't got no issues. Right. Stay the fuck over there in the bread aisle. Right. I'll stay over here. Give you know that, what I'm saying? Give me that subtle head nod. I give you one back. That's it. Come out day. That's a wrap. <laughs> yep. With that being said. Get my Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> Y'all got anything else? Uh, Yeah, man. I got like this real sharp pain in my back. Yeah. Doctor said I'm going to need a backyotomy. A backyotomy? Is that what you just said with your face? <laughs> on purpose. You said it too. I heard you. <laughs> on you purpose. said it on purpose. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all the time we have for today. It's worth me, bitch. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Turtle's the one that's going to get kicked out this week. <laughs> As always, yeah. thank you for your support. And if you enjoyed the show, please rate and review. We, uh, we got to throw that out there again. Please rate and review on iTunes or whatever it is you're listening right now. If you can rate and review, because I know. Sp- Stop I, just listening. I heard Tell some, other people to listen. I, that too. Try to see the same motherfuckers. I heard some. Uh, I heard somebody. Somebody. Uh, I want you niggas no more. Actually, for, you, know we actually, actually you know, we see these niggas, right? <laughs> I actually forgot about this though. But somebody actually oh, give a fuck. Somebody actually uh, <laughs> hit me. Beat. Somebody actually hit me a couple of weeks ago, and they were like, "Hey, I tried to rate on Spotify, but they wouldn't let me." And I was like, "Because you don't rate on Spotify. Spotify. <laughs> yeah, they, you either <laughs> fucking like, like or download. Yep, you or can both. Uh, you can uh, you can like on Spotify. Yeah. Now that he you can it actually out. pin us to your homepage. That's a new feature on Spotify. So do that. You can pin the uh, the podcast straight to your top page, and every time a new episode drops, it's already there. Make sure you do all of that. And wherever you can, please rate and review if you're listening on on iTunes or anywhere that does allow you to review because the reviews actually do help us out regardless of what you think. What? Patrick? Who's Patrick? The homie that just passed. Oh, shit. Patrick Dugan. Yeah, so definitely, uh, well, thanks for cutting me off in the middle of my thing for that. I <laughs> but definitely a uh, shout out to the homie Patrick Dugan. It's one of our friends that passed away not too long ago. Uh, shout out to him, love to his family, and all Absolutely. of that, and all of that extra stuff because it's never it's never easy losing somebody, Thank especially you at that. a young age. Thank you for that, Joe. Depress me real quick. Uh, I mean, moment of silence. I mostly just wanted Joe to stop talking. So, uh, <laughs> how do you do a bottle like this? Look at this shit. He's talented. <laughs> you, that's talent. Yes. <laughs> so, Mr. TR, he's raised, man. <laughs> Yeah, get us like a therapist. Some talent, nigga. Mr. TRTL. Yo, on Instagram, it's underscore, underscore, TRTL, underscore, underscore. Uh, on Twitter, at Too Rare to Lose. On all other social media, is TRTL. Y'all let me know if that's, like, too confusing or something, because apparently it's easy to just have it all one thing. Like, y'all give me your opinions on that and whatnot.
I mean, I, I probably don't care, but I like, yeah. I like to know. <laughs> I'd at least like to hear the opinion. I'd at least like to hear the opinion before I tell you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's Mr. okay to have wrong opinions, you know. <laughs> Mr. Average Joe, the pillow stealer. I didn't steal the pillow. Mm-hmm. Stop, try, stop, stop trying to get me charged. No, it's going to be on your account. Don't worry. I ain't got one. I ain't <laughs> by the room. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> hey, my. Sorry. Straight up. Uh, L-E underscore average underscore J-O-B-E on Instagram. Jovid19 on Twitter. Yeah. And you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to us at The Hangover Podcast and on Twitter at The underscore Hangover Pod, which something tells me Joey ain't been doing his job. Uh, but thanks for having a drink with us. Spiral better be a good movie. Let's see story better pick up. Uh, Trina versus Eve is going to be harder than Soldier Boy versus Bow Wow. Uh, Loki's doing great so far. Floyd and Logan, we need refunds. Even though we didn't pay for it, we need refunds. I feel like you should pay me for having to watch it. You know what? Thanks for having a drink with us. This is the Hangover Podcast. Thank you for listening. Oh, 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 oh,